Hello, Internet friends, and welcome to Quest and Cthulhu. It is Saturday night. Thank you so much for spending part of your geek end with us. We really appreciate it. We are, as always, six of us in our six undisclosed locations, several of them wood paneled. One of them soon to be painted. Amy was showing us uh, paint samples for the new studio. It looked a lot like the old studio. Yeah, this is, you see the exciting <laughs> stuff. This All is all the shades of gray <laughs> that that one writer can handle or whatever. <laughs> All the shades of gray. That's a good, uh, that's a good episode. All title. the shades of gray. Mm. Great. Uh, this, as Tiana pointed out, is episode 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So I think this will be the last episode. We're just going to solve <laughs> everything and go home and, you know, eat more banana bread. That sounds good to me. Ooh, banana uh, bread, though. But as long as we win. As long, yeah, you know, who, what is winning? Uh, we have a few quick announcements, beer, uh, and uh, we have this week, very exciting. We have Monday, a new kind of mitten. It's Carbon 2185 mitten. Uh, uh, is it going to be 80s movie theme? Let's see, what's a good 80s movie theme for this one? I want to go with Ordinary People. <laughs> he's done The Running Man, right? Yeah, he's already done Running Man. And Demolition. And then I said Kramer versus Kramer, yeah. where we fight for the custody of the baby. And then you did Ordinary People, where isn't it based on like therapy after a suicide or something? Yeah, I think somebody dies and everybody's yeah. sad. And, you know, it's uh, I'm trying to think of like the worst 80s movie that could be. Has anybody, have any of you ever seen my favorite 80s movie, The Stuff? The Stuff is a movie. I, this is what the mitten should be. Warren, write this down. The Stuff is an 80s horror movie about a dessert that takes over the world. The right stuff, huh? It's fantastic. Uh, stars, <laughs> stars weird Saturday Night Live side character, Garrett Morris, as somebody really wanted to stick it to Famous Amos, the chocolate maker. And so Garrett Morris plays Chocolate Chip Charlie, who is like a, <laughs> take that Famous Amos. It's, it's the, like, in your face, big cookie. It was, <laughs> it's just a weird, weird movie. Really can we, down a notch. can we just rabbit hole for a minute? Can we do an HR pop and stuff, Cthulhu? Oh, yeah. Or Lidsville. Yes, both, Lidsville. both, both, both. It's, it's an HR pop and stuff Lidsville crossover. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And then we got to bring in Sigmund's Dragon somehow. Yep, bring in your weed cookies too. <laughs> Uh, so Monday, Carbon 2185, it's a mitten, so it's going to be a, uh, um, an 80s movie about people fighting each other. Uh, um, oh man, what was the Barry Bostwick one where he had the motorcycle? It was like, they were like, uh, they tried to know. make Barry Bostwick an action hero. It was, uh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, the internet can tell me. Is we have special guests coming to play with us that night. We have Jared and Diane from the DAT Network. I said that like I know who they are. I don't, but somebody does, and they're they're really cool people, and we're looking forward to seeing what they do on the mitten. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and uh, I don't know who, who else is playing in that one. Do we know? Is I mean, Tiana's I probably doing it because Tiana and show. Aaron and who else plays with me? Thomas. 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 Yeah. Is the turtle gonna is the turtle coming back? Yeah, with his ten foot pole arm. Yes. Yeah, the yes. Turtle. The a space turtle now. It would be a space turtle. Space turtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that that's going to be a big fun. Uh, then we have our normal shows. Tuesday, it's the Chaos Agents. And then Saturday, we're back here. Uh, we also have uh, tonight, we have two giveaways. Two what? giveaways. What? We have, thanks to our own Lonely Yeti, who has apparently caught a bad bout of heft disease uh, <laughs> has donated a number of Cthulhu starter sets. So tonight we are giving away one physical copy of the Cthulhu starter set and one PDF of the starter set. And then next week we're doing the darn same thing. So Lonely Yeti, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. That is, uh, 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 that's outstanding. So I think that's pretty much should we do should we do bits or should we sure. do you want to yeah. hit us with some bits? Okay, so Tamagatora, the evil SOB that he is, has given five hundred bits to Ezra. That is a beautiful thing. 
<laughs> we might speak to you later. Also, uh, might not. Also joined me in uh, and Amy in some social media uh, 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 social yeah. justice work today. Look at find us on Twitter to learn more about that. Uh, All right, but no nukes for Samuel. Also, then gave the five hundred to the players, of which we started with four. Now we have five. I feel but like wait, there's no more. For Samuel is a reference that I should understand. And I me too, like a '90s band that I yeah, would have known. It, it sounds liked. like a '90s band, totally. <laughs> no, she, she 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 explained it in chat once when when uh, someone asked her about it. It has to do with 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 her cat who's named Samuel. I wouldn't give a cat nukes either. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> bad idea. Jesus. <laughs> A bad idea. We, we already have a murder cat around. We don't need the murder cat with nukes. <laughs> and Ezra's favorite Twitch user, even though Squirrel on the Run is still our favorite Twitch user, actually gave 1,500 bits to Tom and Nick for some of the funniest role playing. In fact, even my mother thinks you two are hilarious. So, <laughs> wait, that should be that's the name of next week's episode. Even my mother thinks you two are hilarious. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's outstanding. I don't know uh, what that means entirely. I, whatever. I mean, she's your mother. You'd have to tell us. We're going to start a Freudian. Coming up next week, a Freudian mitten. <laughs> it's really more of an oven mitt, but you know. A, yeah, feels uh, like it. Okay, I'm done talking. This is outstanding. Thank you so much. Uh, we we always love the Baroness, and it's, it's great to see her. Uh, and to, even if she's supporting the wrong people. In this and case. then... Speaking the player's of. favorite Twitch user, Squirrel on the Run, 500 bits because we cannot be outdone. Cut that out. <laughs> no Man. banana bird for you. I love this. No banana bird. Oh, man. I love marital disputes online. <laughs> I had no idea to that. Say that. I had no idea that Call of Cthulhu was going to so deeply wound my marriage. <laughs> Oh, oh! Bless her heart, and I don't mean that in the southern way. I mean that legitimately. You do bless your heart. <sighs> See okay. if I set up her new computer. <laughs> you broke Amy. We haven't even started the game, and you've broken Amy. <laughs> Fine. Besides, she's better at setting up computers than I am. Don't. <laughs> just a little bit. I would just, I would just make it worse. Uh, wow, so that's that was a, a little bit of a bit train. Uh, that's a weird sentence. I don't know why I said that. So uh, uh, last time, among many things that happened, uh, we let a, you know, uh, we, I wasn't involved. Uh, some of the players let a vengeance demon kill a poor fortune teller who thought mistakenly they were the vengeance demons. It's uh, mistake. Didn't turn out, although I, I did really enjoy when Tom just said, well, we've been rebuked. That was, that was uh, <laughs> uh, so yes, sadly, Mr. Lung is, uh, is no more. Um, and you had another exciting visit to Madam Lin who gave you another lovely present and another lovely dress and uh, has agreed to help you in your assault on uh, Grey Dragon Island, but for a, a cost, you know, she wants you to kill Ho Fang in return, which, you know, you so far, I believe you said you needed to sleep on it. Yeah, we need to hire a murder cat is what we need to do. Uh, and the uh, one, uh, two things that sort of happened there that were of, of importance, it became clear what that I Ching uh, fortune was sort of referring to when she, you know, when she sort of sent you a second gift and you you came back to her place. Uh, that is, you know, the, what was it? The, 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 the wise king uses three beaters. And so she's used two and the quarry has returned. And so, you know, she... She thinks you like her. Uh, so uh, she and it. also she mentioned that uh, you could have uh, Tun Tun and Ping would uh, uh, be able to help out with your assault on Ho Fang. However, you were to uh, uh, to carry it out. Uh, you also reconnected with, with uh, Taro briefly, and you got him to agree in 
exactly one week, there will be a destroyer, there will be a, a dinghy waiting to take you to a an Imperial Japanese destroyer uh, that will head to Grey Dragon Island and there will be a unit of, of uh, Marines that will uh, help you do what needs to be done. So in some ways, there's kind of a ticking clock going here for you guys. Uh, and then the big thing that happened towards the end was we finally met Brass Brady. He, uh, he came out and uh, you guys tried to, uh, uh, tried to corner him and he maybe let himself be cornered, but he connected with you and started to tell you sort of what was going on. And he mentioned that as I look through these pages, is this ASMR, the sound of the paper wrinkling here? Is that <laughs> no, that's, that's it can you. Bring it, bring it closer to the mic. Yeah, uh, I'm too subtle from, there's Brady. Uh, so uh, he started to tell you that he was putting together an army to go after Aubrey Penhew, uh, and he was working against Penhew and uh, you could semi convinced him that you were trustworthy and um, wanted very similar goals, and that he was he was interested in in possibly working with you. His compatriot, the leader of the um, the New China Front, uh, seemed a little less so. The um, he was uh, a a little more guarded, and you. You, uh, uh, you know, you, you, he, Brady said you can always reach him through uh, uh, Mr. Chu, Chu Men, but uh, it's going to be hard. Um, I love the lens flare, Donald. AJ <laughs> yeah. Abrams is directing this episode. Wait, let me, here, I'll get the, let me get the ring light in my glasses and we can. Hello, pigeons in slow motion. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. No, that's John Woo, the doves going. That's a, uh, so we're going to, um, we're going to sort of, zip ahead a little and we're going to bring everybody back together uh that evening at the hotel brady has told you to uh brady has told you that he will meet you and give you uh, uh, uh when you told him that there were more than just the two of you he said all right let's get together let's figure this all out and uh we decided uh uh we decided that uh uh you are going to get all of your group together and meet at a restaurant. He, uh, Brady will be in the back room of a restaurant and you guys will go there um, and everything should be fine. Uh, so yeah, there that, so you guys do a quick info dump of, you know, telling them about what happened at Madam Lynn's and telling them that you met Brady. And uh, I don't know, is there any reason, it, 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 does anybody want to do anything before you head to have the Brady brunch as uh, a Julie so oh. eloquent, so awesome? <laughs> um, I want to give as I don't want to give Ezra a thousand bits, but I will. Um, <laughs> from JD Matthews eighty five for apparently great character names. I don't know. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, I I, mean, uh, I don't agree, but okay. I'm. Cool. Thomas. What's what's things are flashing, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> the studio. Like, <laughs> you know, this is what I'm happens fine. when Thomas plugs in the toaster and the he is, the he is actually making dinner right now and I I can like the power just went boom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think the he microphone was I didn't think the microwave was that powerful. Are you kidding? Sidetrack, totally sidetrack. But before we redid our house and rewired everything, if you had the TV, the microwave, and all the lights on downstairs, you would blow a circuit. It's ridiculous. Like everything wow. would be on. You started the microwave. It would be like, Pow, done. Damn. By the way, back to you, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he was asking us if any of us wanted to do anything in particular. I can't think of anything in particular. Get all my guns. And yeah. swords, guns, and knives. I mean, I, I I fully intend to go fully armed to this to this breakfast. But I am also I, I also want to point out that um, if we do end up helping Brady, we will probably have Madame Lynn as an enemy, and that yeah. if we publicly help Brady, but we we get could, followed we a could lot. Use an army 
in addition to that group of commandos. Have you noticed that we get followed a lot? So, I have, I have, a, I have, a, yeah. I have many problems. Um, do we <laughs> agreed? That, this, is, this is a very different stream than that, Amy. We don't have does that. Anyone kind else of want time. to add to this? We really don't have that kind of time. <laughs> And neither of you are licensed. <laughs> um, I'm like, words that are appropriate for YouTube are not coming to my mouth right now. So I don't. Are we past that? Out, Vatican. Or just go wild. Vatican. So with other armies coming to our aid and other individuals are coming to our aid, really the sacrifice that we would have to make in order to get Madame Lynn's help I don't know if it's worth it. She asked us to kill um, Ho Fang, which I'm not willing to do. I may joke about it and take light of it, but I'm not really interested in killing someone for her. Um, and then the fact that I also don't necessarily want to be her mistress and beholden to her in some sort of bizarre, inappropriate relationship that I have no interest in being in. And that's uh, that, that's all perfectly Valid. fair. I mean, Valid. when when you break it down, we are trying to talk her into sending uh, troops with us to the island to hunt down Brady. If we are now going to be standing with Brady, this is going to get interesting really quickly. Well, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that's part of the trick is that Madame Lynn wants Brady because Brady has stolen something from her. Yes, we should probably... Have a chat with him about yes. that. Yes. Definitely. After we stop the end of the world, can't we just return the book? That's what I'm also beginning mm. to think is that it's like, can we string? I we I bet it's not really great, but to string her along long enough to be like, we will get the book, but we need to use the book to achieve, I don't know, not destruction of the world first. Yeah, FYI, the world's going to end. Kind of need it for a little bit to stop. But we're also making a huge assumption that that's what the book is for and he didn't take it for other purposes so we really right. need to find out we need to find yeah, that's out. what he told us we can we can ask uh are we, is this breakfast are we doing breakfast yeah breakfast. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do breakfast yeah. brunch yeah brady's brunch so you can have breakfast first yeah. you know pre-game it I, I i am not yousef i don't need to eat that much <laughs> It's an appetizer. It starts. It just gets you. Was that yeah. was that liquid breakfast? <laughs> Wait, come, come, coffee and muffin. That's not breakfast. It's just a snack. Um. So yeah, you uh um you are a car comes to pick you up, and uh, a gentleman from the New China Front actually comes into the hotel, and uh, says, uh, we have three cars pulled up front. And we're going to put uh, two of them are fakes so that we're going to spread them out. So uh, we're going to put a bunch of people under coats and we're going to put you under coats. And we're going to drive all the cars away and um, make sure that we aren't followed. So, yeah, when you get in the lobby, there are uh, a dozen of the new China front people with like trench coats over their heads. Um, the hotel detective is very confused about what's going sure on. He is. I don't I like to I wear can... my bed. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. How, how big is the case with my guns, and does that stand out? Because I don't think I can bring them. It, if... it doesn't matter because I'm wearing my bed sheet over all my clothes, so I can just put your guns in my bed sheets. Okay. Yeah, bed sheet guns. You're bed you're, sheet. you're you're doing a Sherlock Holmes cosplay. I approve. <laughs> um. So, uh, you you know. You go through this, and and actually, you feel like you uh, you aren't being followed. You feel like this plan seems to have been semi -suc successful. Let's see. I'm gonna roll some birds of paradise dice Ooh, right here. Oh Doomed. no! Doomed. Doomed. I have I have, uh, I have two sets of birds of paradise over here. Maybe we can help counter. Lovely there you go. burnished copper. I think it's the Arizona sunset is the set nice. I'm using now. Do all the dice draw from the same luck source? I think Can you so. you roll to, to drain his luck? <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, I have a magpie and the barn owl. They're pretty. So, yeah, everybody in the car, go ahead and make me a spot hidden. All right, let's do this. Uh, six oh, yeah. oh, totally. Uh, I got a, a 26. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, if anybody That's got a hard, hard success, yeah, anybody got a hard success, you are sure you're not being followed. Uh, 
So I'm just so confident. Hard success. Not... You'll see like one of the cars peels out and like two other cars start to follow it. The hmm. first car, they follow the first car. Rookies. Amateurs. They don't even know about the second hotel. Um, and the third hotel just completely escapes them. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. I've even forgotten about that one. Oh, that's wise. My home game players have taken to renting apartments. Mm. Seems like it would be like, cheaper in the long run. They're creating mm -hmm. Airbnb in the, uh, you know, they're like, can we rent your apartment for a week? We'll, we'll ridiculously overpay you, I guess. Sure. Man, Alexandra should should have gotten on that and, and rented out her flat in London before leaving. Yeah. Uh, I in thought, the old days, it was called subletting. Yeah. Didn't you have a hole in the side of it, though? Didn't you have to fix it? No, that? no. That was in the first universe iteration. The second ah, universe, we didn't yeah. have a fight in that. Yeah, thankfully, that first universe just gone. Yeah. Good riddance. Yeah. yeah. All of its people. From all the stories I, we've heard, yeah. Hmm. I happen to like my wardrobe from the first universe. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much the same same wardrobe universe to universe for me. Kind of. Um, so, yeah, you make it to this restaurant, and you are hustled into... Um, the banquet room and uh sitting there alone is jack brady uh he once again uh you know he's standard kind of chiseled tough guy number seven <laughs> and uh he you know the the ladies he he hasn't met yet um hello i'm i'm jack brady uh you've been looking for me all right, this is the rest of our group, at least the ones that um, haven't been captured yet. I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Joan Lamb, uh, premier archaeologist. Hmm. Alexandria, pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for the name of the book. I just want to be like, hi, Jack, I'm Emma, and I think you sold the... Seven, what is it? The seven something. Seven somethings of, of. Oh, shoot. I wrote this down. I know. I wrote it like there's 100 pages of God insanity that we've done. <laughs> oh, is that the book? Only just 100 pages? Yeah. That's it's uh, only the thick of dumbness. Books of Hassan. I just found it too. Yeah. Like horrible handwriting. Hi, Jack. I'm Emma. Um, so, what's up with the uh, seven books of Hassan? <laughs> well, those scrolls are what's telling me how to put that capstone back together. What language bring, are they? Can we bring the other part of the capstone? Sure. As, in, as, as if we'd leave that behind at this point. We've gotten we've gotten our hotel rooms trashed so many times. Yeah. Yeah. You've started yeah. carrying everything you own on you at all times. Pretty the, much. The bed sheet. Yeah, the bed sheet. I look like a tent at this point because I've got your gun sticking out one side. I've got my sword sticking out the other side. I've got like oh, a virtual I'll take my case. I'll take my case with my guns. You don't have to. Okay, so hang on. Let me get that out from underneath my dress. <laughs> you have the Mary Poppins dress. <laughs> <laughs> like you, it's uh, not it's bigger on the inside yeah. sure it is. it's bigger it's bigger outside too <laughs> i like that you travel prepared but uh no that those that scroll i got a guy working on translating it it's going to be the key to putting that capstone back together what language is it in chinese mm -hmm. modern I don't know, actually, Joan, I have no idea. Is is there a difference between modern and ancient Chinese? So the written language is pretty consistent. Okay. Uh, but the spoken language is wildly variant yeah. and um, mainly regional. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Jack, but, perhaps um, you can explain to the others the, the story of, to start from the beginning about um, Carlisle, how he was uh, tricked into doing the, well, you tell the story. I'm sure they're very interested to hear. Well, I mean, as far as I can tell, and I think you all know this, we're in a lot of trouble. The more I learn about this situation, the worse it is. When I spilled the beans to that Jackson Elias character, I was hoping he was going to tell somebody, write the book and, you know, rip the, tear the lid off this story and, try and get some publicity for it, but 
Well, I guess uh, that didn't end so well for him. Sorry for your loss of your friend. But, you know, that just goes to show you this, the, this cult is playing for keeps. So, look, from the start, I knew that Roger's little witch was a problem. She was as tough as they come, and she, she had him around his little, her little finger. He must have known she was trouble, too, because the more he saw her, the more crazy he got, and the mm. more bad dreams he had. Uh, I thought it was great when he wanted to go to Egypt. That'd be the end of her, and get her out of the way, and we could, well, things would go back to normal between us. I liked the guy, and I owed him a lot. Well, it seemed like that would work out. The trip over to London was a lot of fun, but once we got there, Roger hooked up with that crackpot pen, Hugh, and they pretty much spent every waking moment going over some junk that Warren Bessart got them from Egypt. There was this black head and shoulder statue that Roger would stare at for hours, and there was a map that he'd study, and, you know, he, he looked at that map like a normal guy would look at a beautiful dame. Yeah, there were parties and trips, but mostly it was all about that damn map. Once we got to Cairo, Roger started having the bad dreams again, and he started yammering on about meeting a god and crap like that. But, well, he wasn't drinking, and the girl wasn't around, and you know, everyone started to act even nuttier than Roger was. And I said to myself, this is not, not going to go well for Mrs. Brady's baby boy. And then Roger really went off the deep end and started telling me that we could meet this god as soon as as soon as we destroyed the eye and opened the path. That idiot Houston should have talked Roger down, but he just encouraged him. So the first night that we were up the Nile at Dashur, Roger snuck out and climbed up the Red Pyramid. Any of you guys ever climbed up a pyramid? It's not fun. They're no. steep. But Roger jumps up that thing like a monkey. Never looked back, never hesitated. Proved to me that he was off his rocker. He didn't care. But I followed him. I mean, I was crazy too. For about two-thirds of the way, pyramid's rocky, easy climbing. Then it gets smooth. Roger just dances up this thing, gets to the top. I'm slowed down. All of a sudden, I hear weird singing and there's an explosion in the top of the thing and roger is wearing some sort of crazy robe at the top and saying things that i don't understand and he he says that he's done it and he's he was euphoric and there's i didn't want i just stayed there laying there and he says the eye is gone jack now they're now we can be gods and I don't want to be a god. Well, that was just Roger talk, you know. But beside him, there was a big patch ripped out of the stone, and it, it looked fresh. When I went back the next day, the patch had been filled in as though the pyramid had repaired itself. But near the base, I found, I found a piece of rock, which looked like it had been in that patch originally, and it had this sign on it. And he pulls out the other half of the cat. Joan, do you have the capstone with you? Is that... Um, you can hold that up to the camera and let us see Slithy Tove's cool work if you've got oh. it. Or is that still at the studio? I think it might still be at the yeah, studio. What no. is it? I was, was it, I, I, maybe I can find it at break. Ah, yeah. So it's, uh, I just wanted to give Slithy Tove another shout out for his cool props. They're so awesome. But he pulls out the cool. other half of the uh, 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 of the capstone. And it is clearly, you know, it has the rest of the symbol that you saw. Uh, and we hold them up and have a little bit of like, oh. <laughs> is there like energy? Uh, no, there is nothing like when you put them together. The Interesting. Um, well, so you've got the other half. Well, that's what that that's the scroll is for. The scroll, we can either make a new one or we can repair this one. And we've got to, you know, we got to use these to seal the areas that are going to be part of this cult, this ritual. Do we think it'd be better to 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 put this together since this was already made or make a new one? It seems like putting this together would be a good thing. It would 
kind of be a, a symbol of, of shutting it back together. And probably oh. take, take, take less energy than a, a full new one. In a time, yeah. I don't, I don't know about all that stuff. We can see what, uh, what uh, Moo says when we see when he's done translating, but uh, I mean- And do you that, trust this Moo character? Oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the people who kept me safe here in Shanghai when I got here. Um, so two days later, after that jaunt up the pyramid, the whole gang, Roger, Penhu, Houston, and Patty, they all gave me the slip and they disappeared into the bent pyramid. Then the messenger boys went in to find them and they ran out saying that the pyramid had eaten them. Uh, well, bingo, that gets rid of all our workers. They flee, they run in all directions. The whole dig's deserted in five minutes. The only person left in the whole area was me. Well, I damn sure went in. I'm not letting Roger, I'm not gonna lose Roger. I couldn't find anybody inside. I waited most of a day. And they, they all come out together. Roger says they'd been to Egypt, to the real Egypt. And that was about the most sensible thing he said. Penhu looked like he'd lost about five years. Every time I saw him after that, he looked younger every time. Patty, well, Patty didn't look so good. Patty and Houston both seemed somehow changed. Patty kept throwing up. Nobody would explain where they'd been and nobody cared that from that day on, it was hard to hire workers. After that, when I'd wake up in the night, the rest of the gang would be talking creepy lingo like I'd never heard before. Then one evening, Roger sh said he was gonna show me the power of what they'd learned. We went out into the desert with a passel of Arabs. Everybody started screaming weird words and songs and Penhu beat that drum they got from Najar. And that's when things started coming out of the ground. And I'm not afraid to tell you, that's when old Brady started to lose it. I, uh, they, the things that came out of the ground started, started tearing up all the, the Arabs around them. And Roger and Penhu and Houston and Patty, they just laughed. They thought it was funny. I, uh, well, it was at that point that uh, I passed out. When I woke up, Roger was telling me that I had to change my attitude and get, all, get with the team or else. And that didn't sound like the Roger I know, the Roger I knew. That's when I decided I had to get him away from those crackpots. So... I drugged him, I smuggled him to Cairo, I stole Roger and the cash box, it was his money after all. We made it to Mombasa, from Mombasa we uh, took a steamer, and we, uh, we made it finally to Shanghai. Well, I made it to Shanghai, I dropped Roger off. When we got into Hong Kong, he just, he lost it. He stopped being human. He lost his mind. And so I left him at a, uh, uh, an asylum in, in uh, Hong Kong where they're taking care of him. I, I was in Shanghai when I was in the Marines. So I, I know some people here and uh, I was able to, I was able to lie low for a while and you know, get off, get everything taken care of. And I thought that, well, I, I thought that Elias character was going to get the word out. And I thought I'd never see any of those damned expedition, any of the gang again. <sighs> and then one day I saw Penhu on the dock of his yacht. And I knew then that I had to kill him. So what do you say? You want to help me kill Aubrey Penhu? I'm in. Yeah. It will help me with that. Speaking of that, in about six days, we have a Japanese destroyer with some commandos that are going to be picking us up to take. Yeah, we're, we were, yeah, we were going to go after him. Six days is fast. Six mm. days is very fast. Yeah. And I'm 
Jack, I hate to tell you this, but our friend Jackson Brady, or Jackson Brady, oh my God. Jackson Elias. Jackson Elias. I'm sorry, but our friend Jackson Elias was not able to get the word out because he was killed in New York once he returned. Pretty quick after. Yeah. And in yeah, fact, we were given the task of picking up after on the trail of Jackson Elias, which brought us here. Well, I see. Well, I'm sorry that you have to be involved in this. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure we can convince Chu to work with the Japanese. Hmm. The new China front is, is, they're the revolutionaries fighting the Chinese in all of the provinces, the, uh, the, the fighting the Japanese in all the provinces that the Japanese have taken over. But they understand that this is a potential world ending event. It's a little hard to fight over chunks of land when the world isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it comes down to who's going to be the first person to stop shooting at each other to shoot at the bigger threat. What about a two-pronged approach? That's right. Yeah. Come at it from opposite sides. They don't have to know about each other necessarily, as long as we're in control. That could turn messy really quickly. Especially if they meet in the center of the island. Yeah, and if we're in the middle... Look, if they meet at the center of the island, we've already done everything we need to do. If we've got two armies on Grey Dragon Island that are shooting at the things we want shooting at, I don't care if they start shooting at each other after that, as long as Penhu is dead. Penhu is a tough nut to crack. We've run across him a couple of times at this point, and we may have been successful in slowing him down a little bit via some of the weird things. But he's still he's still a difficult difficult person to hit. Just hit at all. We we shot at him and you could we 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 couldn't get a, a bullet through. Have you had any success taking on Penhu? No, I I tried to shoot him with a, a rifle from three buildings away, and bullets aren't going to work on Penhu. That's why we got Hassan working on this thing. We're going to have to. That's that's the real problem. Is I'm not sure Hassan's going to be done in six days. What what's he working on? He's translating those scrolls. How will that help us fight and kill Pan here? Yeah. If we're able to if if we're able to bring down some of the supernatural uh, protections that he has around him, that may be helpful. Yeah, those capstones they'll seal off the so the ritual is taking place in three places. Mm -hmm. There's a place in Australia. There's a, in the pyramid, when I was in there, there was this triangle. And, and I just look at Emma. <laughs> and when you overlay it, you can see exactly where the three spaces are. Yep. There's Which one in Dragon Island, yep. there's one in Kenya, and there's one in Australia. And if we can knock out one of them, that sets them back. If we knock out all three, we just might have a chance. And we want to contact Taro again and have him uh, delay. Well, that's all off. But uh, he's got a destroyer, a rather useful weapon. A, a destroyer is a fantastic weapon, but if someone can't be affected by bullets, what good is it going to be to, well, now look, to raise the island to the ground? Penyu's got a lot of people around him that can be very affected by bullets. Fair. What, what's he working on on that island? The goddamn bomb. And does he they have can... Patty, does he have Patty and Houston with them? You said that they were part of, they were under his influence, if you will. I haven't seen them. Hmm. They might be at the other locations. But we we've got to disrupt this location. We just have to. And that capstone. Else. If we can get that capstone in there, we seal this location. This location, we don't want to try and seal it, it up back in Egypt? Or is it too late? Is that closing the barn doors after the horse is out? I mean, Egypt's not on, the, uh, not on that triangle. It's true. Joan, Joan, you know something about sealing locations with those um, elder signs, right? Yeah, well, it's, so Valno and I have done, done some work with that, being able to um, create uh, signs that we can protect things with, with, be able to seal things up. We're a little lower on power than we were, but what do you think, Silvano? Silvano's not here anymore. 
remember. That's right. I keep yeah. thinking. Who's I keep thinking he's yeah. here. Oh, oh, my Ivana. brain. My brain. Ivana is a friend of ours that has he's, been. He's in here. Silvano is a friend of ours that has been taken by Penn Hugh. It's one he of the reasons us. why he, he, he left us and I pull out, I pull out the finger and set it on the table and just like take, take a hand off of it to let it pinwheel. The hell? Why, why do you have some guy's finger? This is Silvano's finger and it's been keyed through the weird stuff to point to him. We assume that it points at the island. I pick it back up and wrap it and stick it back in my yeah. pocket. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, figure out. Yeah, what uh, don't we have uh, somebody in the at the library that can help out? Could we also, Mr. Brady? I have an I have an assistant. His name is Lee. His name is Lee Wen Chen. Could we per perhaps provide him as an assistant to Mr. Mu for your translation? He is both fluent in. I'm hoping I'm saying Mandarin and English, Cantonese and English. Which one is he? A uh, hero would be Shanghaiese, but written Chinese okay. is pretty standard across all of the. Okay. Uh, it's it's the spoken that is different. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, yeah, he could probably help mo uh, help him. Yeah. Uh, so somebody, uh, let's say Julie, roll me roll me a D eight. A D eight. One second. That's not a normal one to roll. No. I got it too. All right. Uh, so it's probably going to take about a week for Moo to translate this thing. Maybe if your friend helps, we can knock that down a little. That'd be awesome. Might might be able to knock it down enough to catch that destroyer. If we can knock mm -hmm. it down to five days from a week. Yeah. It's possible, yeah. I mean, so here's the thing. That... I don't like saying the name. That word that starts with N. The guy who took Roger from me. He, he can break those stones, but he has to use a person to do it. Ah, and that yeah. person, he can't tell where they are. That person has to find them themselves. And so... If we start redoing these capstones and sealing this stuff off, we still have to deal, you know, that's that's why that destroyer comes in handy. We got to make sure that anybody that's on that island that thinks Pinhue's shit doesn't stink gets the hell blown out of them. That's right. If uh, we did this too soon, a few months later, one of his minions can just undo it all. And that's one of my, one of my concerns. Although if we can then bounce to, to the two other locations and seal them off, he won't have anyone to reach through, yeah. necessarily. I mean... So, oh. I was going to say, so if we have one stone, we would need to make the other two. Okay. Who believes that this, this ritual can be used to either make it or repair it? Now... Repair would be good. I'm not going to lie. Moo's also pretty sure that um, there's some blood involved in this ritual. And we all just sort of shrug nonchalantly. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're all like, like, yep, yeah. I've yeah. heard it. Yeah, okay. I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> We've heard this before. Been there, done it. <laughs> blood, blood, blood magic is apparently some of the most powerful. Mm -hmm. I try to stay clear, personally. My soul's fine. <laughs> but we have the world in the balance, and we have some blood in the balance. Oh, I'll do it. I just, I, I, I just, I just want to avoid having parts of my soul drained away like Silvano did. Agreed. I'm just really scared of anybody that says my soul is fine. <laughs> that's 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 probably the appropriate response. Yes, Mr. Brady, right. what have you done to tr stop Penpew? So. You've only attacked him once. What else, what other what other methods and means have you gone after him? Been building a goddamn army. Mm. I've got a hundred guys in a warehouse learning how to fight. How are they, how are they doing? You're 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 a marine. How how mm. are they as far as the training? Well, the I mean, honestly, I'm not as worried about their fighting as I am about uh, 
about uh, uh, Chu and his political stuff. You know, I'm making, I'm training an army to kill Penyu. He's training an army to take over China. Yeah. And he's giving you a hundred soldiers. Yep. And a tank. Nice. Can you How get many a- does he have in total? In Shanghai, he's probably got 500 or 600. Okay. He's building a, I mean, look, I don't know if you know this, but China's pretty big. And he's got well, guys all over it. Well, and if and, and if they can fight uh, effectively in guerrilla warfare, five or six hundred goes a very long way. That's true. Well, the Japanese are a long way away from Shanghai, and uh, uh, and Min plans to keep it that way. So, what's our next step? Could we get your assistant here, <laughs> or wherever it needs to be. Yeah, I can send for Lee Wen. All right. Do we need to help uh, secure transportation to get your troops to the island? Uh, we've got some fishing boats set up. Usually, what we do is uh, I have a fishing boat that goes around the island once a week, basically trying to figure out when Penhu's coming back. Hmm. Have you gathered intelligence on the island then? Can you give us some sort of diagram details, information about the layouts? What we I don't really have a diagram. Nobody's there. it's it's a volcanic island. There's some sort of volcano in the middle of it, uh, mostly sandy beach. There's no no buildings that the boat has ever seen. Huh. I wonder where they're keeping Silvano on that. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a nice little compass there. Absolutely lovely. Eh, I, I I beg to differ, and I actually have, I, I, and I'm usually not squeamish. So, uh, everybody who has worn the headdress, and I think we're down to two now, make me a pow roll. Like, where's my character sheet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, two. Oh, nice. I am I am all about Holy everything, crap. and I got a fifty. So. So you made it? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, So, uh, yeah, Brady is, uh, you know, Brady will give you a little bit that he knows about the island. Uh, um, There's not a lot in the way of docks. Like, I mean, a destroyer probably won't be able to, like, dock there. So it's mainly going to be offshore bombardment and, you know, transport for Marines. Yeah. the fishing boats uh, uh, for the new the new China front are uh, going to be you know that's going to be harder to coordinate because there's going to be the destroyers one boat carrying a hundred soldiers. This is going to be twenty boats carrying a hundred soldiers. Uh, so, you know, my plan was twofold: kill Penhu and get that ritual done to seal that island. Step three, profit. I don't think there's any profit in this. Eh, the world surviving is good enough. That's good. Here's 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 my question. Well, one of my questions. Um, you said that he's working on a bomb on that island. Do you know is does he have some sort of a bunker underground that he's working on it? Or if we start bombarding that island, are we going to blow up whatever he's been working on, which could be very interesting, especially if it's green and glowing. That was very specific. The Dark Mistress has some interesting secrets. Hmm. How would you get that tank onto the island? Well, uh, one of the, uh, we have a, we have a small cargo trawler that can hopefully get up close enough to drop the tank. Hmm. It's going to be in the cargo hold. Oh, if you wait for the bombardment, <laughs> probably won't you? It probably won't be focused on. Probably be looking somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, to go back to the bunker thing, I mean, there's got to be underground something there because there are no buildings on the island. When I, the fishing boats that go around there don't see any structures. And how is he supplying the island? Just beside? Is it just the Dark Mistress? 
yeah, Penhu comes into town every once in a while, loads up on stuff and takes it back. Mm. Uh, the darkness. Uh, very rarely, Ho Fang's yacht will also head out there. Mainly, that's when there are going to be rituals there. And well, so, so Ho Fang is connected to Penhu. What's his role in all this? Uh, Ho Fang is the before Penhu got here. He was the he was the the China head of this not uh, cult. The guy whose name I don't say. Mm. Do we want to go after Ho Fang now? Yeah, Mr. Brady, have you thought about, I don't know, shaking down Ho Fang and his operation in order to mix things up? I've thought about killing him. It's not, and? it's not the worst idea. Well, two men, two won't go, uh, men won't go for it. Why? Uh, because Ho Fang may be a bastard, but he's a Chinese bastard, and he's afraid that in the power vacuum, the Japanese will take over. I think mm. there's someone else who might want to take over. Yeah. Yeah. I think Lin might. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going near that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do to you? <laughs> no, what did I do to her? I stole, that's where I got the book. Yeah, we know. What if perhaps um she got gorillas? Yes, she does. How did you get them out? I ran like hell. The gorillas are very fast. How did you yeah. run them? Like hell. Is Mrs. Brady's baby boy. Perhaps killing Ho Fang will um get a little leniency from uh, Madame Lin for you. We can work something out. Or maybe get the the the, the books back to her when you're done translating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once we have it, then it we don't need the books anymore. Hurt to be back on good terms. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like that's going to take time. We don't got. Mm. Oh, we'll take care of El Fang for you. That shouldn't take us more than an evening or two. Yeah, we've. I just glance at Donald. <laughs> we're sitting around with idle hands. Devil's plaything, they say. Well, mm -hmm. well, all right. I mean, um, it's gonna, I. Uh, I just don't know what Min's going to think about this. And I'm probably not going to tell him. Tell him. Hmm? Don't, don't tell him. Well, uh, Ho Fang will be something that we do independently, perhaps. Nothing. Yeah. Really I'm just worried that uh, if if the situation, if the if the the triumvirate that currently kind of runs this town, if it gets unsighted, Mo uh, Min's going to like. Min's gonna might need those men to change the power structure here. Is he one corner of the triumvirate? Three sides. Oh. You got Ho Fang, you got Madame Lin, you got you got Min. And then the Japanese are trying to become the Japanese are trying to make it a square. Would would he be more amenable to working with, with Madame Lin? Uh, I think his connection to me has burnt that bridge. We might, but 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 if we're able to reform the the, yes. the bridge by returning the books when the translation is done and doing some sweet talk, I glance at Emma. I mean, look, <laughs> and the fact you... that and the fact that she would gain something far more far greater, uh, i.e., control of all business in Shanghai by your hands and with your help, Mr. Brady. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's a reasonable like, woman and willing to uh, let, let, let bygones be bygones if she gets sufficient reward from it. I just want to watch Amy try and raise an eyebrow again. That was fun. That was a good, that was a good eyebrow raise there. <laughs> Hang on. I need, I need some assistance here. <laughs> <laughs> I have legitimately practiced it and I can only get this eyebrow to do it. <laughs> I can either to do anything I want them to. I, uh, I look crazy uh, if I do it the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. such a crazy look. I used to kind of like the crazy one better. Portrait of a sad theater kid. When I was in high school, I would sit in the bathroom and go in the mirror and just like practice you know, raising them. That's, that's yeah, exactly, that's duh. Exactly what I did, and the same reason, the theater kid. Shocking! I didn't get a lot of dates in high school. Okay, no nukes from Samuel. Give the players one thousand bits a while back since we're on a uh, eyebrow sidebar. <laughs> Are we getting any eyebrow bits now? <laughs> I don't know. That's up to the. No, no, no nukes for Samuel, no, no nukes for Penhue. Yeah, uh, there we go. That's the um, new name, no nukes for Penhue. Yes. So, 
you're just gonna go kill Ho Fang. Hopefully it goes that well. It'd be, it'd be nice if it were that easy. And and then I'm just when, saying that we could use some assistance, Mr. Brady. I mean, with your support, that might pave the way for a, for a reunion with you and Madam Lynn that would be amicable to both parties. And, and if, and if Min and, and Madam Lynn are able to work together, I imagine it'll be significantly easier to keep the Japanese out. If Min knows that I helped take out one side of the triumvirate, it's going to destabilize my that relationship with him. That makes sense. And um, more importantly, those hundred men in a tank. So then we would need to go to Madam Lynn and negotiate this without your knowledge. Well, I mean, when the book, when we're done with the book, you can give it back to her. All right, we can bring back the originals to her. We'll keep the translations. Just out of curiosity, Mr. Brady, how did you become aware that Madam Lynn had this book? Well, me and Madam Lynn have a little history. Continue. And, uh, you know, I've I've asked her for a favor now and then, and let's just say she can't resist Mrs. Brady's baby boys, baby blues. Emma, you should pass him one of the dresses. <laughs> Give him the statue. I should just send him the statue tomorrow. <laughs> really care. Madam Lynn thought you'd look good. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've maintained a transactional relationship with, uh, Madam Lynn for some time. And, uh, when I found out that she had those scrolls, she had no idea. They're just sitting on a table in her study. Does she and, really uh, not know the value of the things that she has? Does she really just get them to spite Ho Fang? She just wants to spite anybody, really. That's what it sounds like. It's what it sounds like. Yeah, because these are this is epic. I mean, spite is a powerful motivator. She just, you know, she again. All you have to do is tell her you want something, and she wants it a little more than you. Hmm. And the problem is, she's a little richer than you. Or a lot of. And she may not know what the hell it is, but if you try and take it from her, she doesn't care what it is. She's going to hold on to it and send goddamn gorillas after you. So was, b b before you nicked the books from, from Madam Lynn, um, were, were she and, uh, men on reasonable terms? Did they work together at all or? I mean, look, the whole point of a triumvirate is that they're all working together and working against each other at the same time. Everybody in a triumvirate thinks they're number one. Nobody thinks they're number three. And so there's a constant shifting of who's helping who. And if you take away one 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 of those, one of the legs of the stool, it gets a little unbalanced. Everything gets destabilized. Exactly. The good news is, when the three when the three of them fight, nobody wins. If two of them are fighting, somebody's going to win. That said, Ho Ho Fang is the leader of the the cult of the Black Pharaoh here, or whatever its equivalent is. Here, what is the bloated lady here? The bloated, of the bloated woman, the cult of the bloated woman. Yes, the B word. Who, who is she? What, what do we know about her? She's one of the, she's one of the aspects of mm. the the gentleman with the with the end name. I mean, she's a goddamn boogeyman. Close enough. Well, it sounds like we're setting up lunch with Madam Lynn. <laughs> I guess I guess it depends on what our end goal here here is. Are we aiming after Ho Fang, knowing A that he's a cult leader and we mm -hmm. have a history with those. Yes. Cult leader. He's cult leader. leader. Yes. You had me at cult leader. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well then in that case, do we 
tell Madame Lynn that? And what do we tell Madame Lynn about Brady? Or do we not until we can give her back the books? I think we need to go back to Madame Lynn and negotiate some conditions for taking out whole thing. Like? Because if, if we're gonna get this army, the region needs to stay stable and she needs to work out some sort of arrangement with uh, Brady and, uh, sorry, I'm Min. not remembering Min. his name. Min. 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 And Min, yeah, Min Chu. Yeah. Uh, so remember that Madam Lin, like her basic offer was kill Ho Fang and I will help you in your assault on the island. Yep. Um, you didn't tell, I mean, you didn't know about the destroyer or, you know, now. Well, yeah. the new china the new new china front and so mm -hmm. um well i knew about now, i knew about the destroyer Don, uh, donald and i were the ones who went and talked to him about that yeah right sorry let me rephrase that you didn't tell her about sure correct mm -hmm. right. and so you know now you've got like a family ties prom thing where everyone you have to wear a different flower <laughs> every time when when you talk to the different people uh so brady tells you that you know he's gonna he's getting out of here but again you can always contact him through uh, men at the warehouse. And that there will be people there day and night. Uh, the training that is going on there happens day and night. All right. Stay safe. Yes. Yeah. Um, I guess let me know how it goes with Ho Fang. Yes. All right. So we should take our leave and see if we can. I, I, I think I think the two things that we need to do are get a hold of Emma's assistant and hook him up <laughs> with the translation team. Yeah, so that... Full of assistance. <laughs> yeah. So no, have we left? Because I have thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's let's yeah. Let, let, let's get let's let's get the the, uh, the the information of the of the translators. We can send assistant boy mm -hmm. off off to off to them but yes i'm i'm curious about your thoughts on this yes mm. now that we're clear please share mm. really brady couldn't just like obviously his mrs brady's son's blue eyes obviously didn't do it because i'm getting gifts galore and he didn't get squats well he's out of the picture now <laughs> and i mean well, before he could have just said, oh those you're are lovely <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> Emma, you're, you're forgetting two things. First of all, you are far prettier than Brady is. Am I prettier yeah. than Brady? I don't know. I can't yeah. tell. I, I can't <laughs> tell by literally somebody doing this. He's nowhere near as lovely as you. Is, is, what's Brady's, Brady's appearance? Is Brady a 70? Uh, everybody make me a psychology role. <laughs> and also, Brady, like, you gotta, oh, Jesus. Did you? I'm talking one hundo. No. no. Oh. Oh. What does Emma think? <laughs> I've got all kinds of dumb thoughts. Oh. I'm the best. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. So. Um, That's an Emma drink. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> so. Yeah, you have two thoughts simultaneously. One of oh, which. That's, first of all, that's real tough for Emma here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, First, you are positive from the way that Brady talked, especially the way that Brady talked about Carlisle, that Brady is gay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, you are also, uh, oh. you are also uh, uh, in a weird, only Emma can do this way, super jealous that a gay man was, you know, was making more with Madame Lynn than you were. Okay. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so that 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 that's first. Second, you know how to do diplomas, uh, diplomacy and basically. wait, who? Yeah, who are you talking about? <laughs> Better than Brady. <laughs> what what's that what's that skill? <laughs> Harm. You're well, bit on the sheet. Oh, that skill's called boobs. Guys. <laughs> No, I'm not. Oh, there, there is a skill there. Huh. That skills I'm gonna try that one day. Can we use that as a touch? Because I really want to. <laughs> I have a thought. 
Emma was resisting her charms, whereas Brady was not. Oh, you were playing yeah. hard to get. That's that. That's something yeah. that a collector. Yes. On. They want to collect, and once they've collected it, eh. nice. Having is not so good a thing as wanting. Hmm. But and also, why but, can't Brady go out and borrow us people? Wait, I, say that. What? You know, I mean, I, I just, I'm very disappointed in the fact that we still have to kill Ho Fang. I understand now that he's a cultist and I feel very much better about eliminating him, but I'm still not crazy about, you know, having to kill a human person. Do you want to stay home? Kinda. Yeah. Okay. I, that's fine. It's fine, you can stay home. Yeah. Library work to do or something. I love how you guys are like, no, we don't need you. It's fine. Look, no, you know, no, here's- No here's, one should make you do it. I'm good with that. Here's, here's the thing, at, at least from Alexandria's perspective, where it's like, you're not a killer. That's okay. You don't need yeah. to be. There are killers on this team. That's fine. I accidentally light stuff on fire, but that doesn't mean I intentionally kill people. Well, no. No, and that's just different. Because my headdress tells you to. I feel like there should be air quotes around accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yes. The purposeful kind of accidentally. You know, I, that one. I'm just waiting for, for the next hotel fire to take out those dresses from Madame <laughs> Highly possible. Actually, I think I should send those to Brady first and then <laughs> torch the place. Yeah, I'm bringing my case of guns with me everywhere I go. The more I listen Hold to you talk. Know. <laughs> the bed sheet is an amazing disguise. You should just start I'm wearing keeping it. One, I, I kept one of the trench coats, right? Hell yeah, we got free trench coats. You, 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 <laughs> you boys in your oversized guns. Um, <laughs> oh, no idea. Ho oh, Fang having a morning ritual where he always goes to some restaurant or some whatever it is, a tea or something. What? Oh, Emma would be perfect for burning that down. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. No, let's snipey, snipey. Uh, Donald, actually, you remember that that was what you that was what Taro told you about um, about uh, uh, Mu Chin that he has the the regular uh, schedule where he goes and gets tea and that sort of thing. And Mu is the translator. No, Mu is the head of the New China Front. Ah, sorry. Uh, I'm like, yeah. wait, no He's names, men. names. I should write these down. Mm. I, I don't even know. Yeah, I've I've lost I've lost all my notes are just garbage now. I can't keep track of the people. So Min's the okay. head in the new China front? Uh win. Win? Who's Min? Min? I thought it was Min. Chart. I'm gonna make a float. Is that yes. Chow Win? Sounds good. I don't know. Oh, What's I'm, happening? I, wait, I was totally right. It is it is Chu Min is the head of the new China front. Okay. And there's no H in it. Nope, C H U M I N. Okay. And then. And Mu is the translator that I'm sending. What's his name? Li Wen. Li yes. Wen to. And uh, everybody that went to the library figures that could be Mu Shen, who was the guy's, who was the person on the list of scholars that you were uh, supposed to talk to. Ah. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't to Madame Lin. So we slowed down his progress when we were there, is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't think you've gone to him yet. I haven't, but a previous character of mine. Oh, right, yeah. Um, the mustache so, in a different incarnation. <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, what is it now? It's the m m afternoon of April 26th. Yeah. Are you? Are we going? Are we going to Madam Lynn to talk about? I, uh, any I don't think that we need to necessarily discuss it unless we want to borrow the gorillas. Um, well, no. So if if we go and we kill him, we're going to be out a liberation army, unless she's are you willing. Sure? To, yeah, that's what Brady just told us. He yeah. just said if he's involved. Well, oh, but yeah, involved, I mean. But he's not sure what the impact would be if Ho Fang dies right, and the before. new China front is like, hey, we can take over now. Yeah. 
there's so, no that does bring up a good point though you do bring up a great point because now it could be a struggle between new china front and madam lynn yeah and now we're asking two warring parties to oh this is terrible do we take those two warring parties and pit them against Japan? no no we don't want it we don't want to pit them against each other we need to go to her and say look if we take him out it's if it has come to our understanding that there is going to be potential conflict we could be out valuable resources for the mission that we're doing. And so you have to play nice both with uh, both with Chumin and you have to like let your deal with Brady go and we'll be able to get you the scrolls back. Well, it could be a That's trick. the only way that we can do it without compromising having a liberation army taking half of the island with a tank. My second favorite Twitch user is at it again. What? Yep. Matthew five 85 subs. gifted five subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you so much. The hell's Rachel ever done for me like that? Whoa! <laughs> banana bread? Isn't that chocolate banana great. bread? Ooh, chocolate banana. Banana bread's pretty yeah. great. Yeah. Um, well, so so like five subscriptions, but you know. Ooh. So here, here's the question. We will have the Chinese Liberation Front and the Japanese Destroyer. And as long as, you know, they don't know about each other, do we need Madame Lin? Meet in the middle and shoot at each other. No, but I mean, it sounds like you guys did have an arrangement with her. Not officially, and not quite yet. Not yet. I still we, feel that we should return the book to her yes. at some point in and time I think we should this her property. And I think sure. we should tell her about that we, but, we, we we have contact with Brady and we can get the book back. But we do want to kill a cult leader, is the other thing. That's we what we did. So want to kill a cult leader. Well. Less cult leaders that are at that island, the better is my sage. You bet there's nothing on the island to burn. Trees. <laughs> oh, shrubs. Oh. Well, okay. We don't know what's shrubs. underground. We don't know what's underground. A shrubbery. Here's here here's the problem with that, Flint. Um, we've dealt with a couple cult leaders. It always hurts a lot. We've managed, we've survived each time, but dear gods. You didn't have enough high-powered rifles at the time. <laughs> <laughs> we did though. Silvana was real good with that high-powered rifle. Shockingly so for a for a man of the books. Not a lot of explosives have been tried. That's Ooh. Fair. Nope, that's out. Call, sorry to meta this, but no, no explosive <laughs> call Cthulhu, especially when Ezra's running it. <laughs> hey, Tom, Fair it point. No, 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 no. Yeah, I also meta and agree in a meta world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need a, a Orient Express situation. Oh, and I was just looking to see how I would be able to use explosives because. Uh, nope, Ezra would. Yeah. You, you'd blow yourself up. That's yeah. how you'd use them. Yeah, a, and, and oh, yeah, when we're doing lots of excavations. Yeah, you, we don't want to blow up any of the, 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 the cool things that we might find either. Fair. Well, and <clears throat> coming, coming, coming back around to the problem of the island, um, Donald, you- 500 for explosives. Hey! Okay. Okay. You know, Mago is always there for fire or explosives. Yep. <sighs> a, man, a man after my own heart. That should be in the drinking game. Like if fire or explosives are mentioned, drink. Shots. <laughs> <to expand>. Bye. <laughs> the drinking Fireball. Is... That's what you have to drink. I love it. Cheers. Cheers to that. I need to go get a thing of fireball to do that. I'll stick to water. Um... But uh, but 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 on, but on the question of uh, potentially blowing up the entirety of of that island, a Silvano's there. Mm -hmm. B, they're making progress on whatever kind of bomb they're working on, and I don't we don't know how far along they are. But they might be long. using some of that that green nasty stuff that was in the Dark Mistress that made me feel like garbage. Um, that it, it, whatever, whatever was in there made their boat go very fast. I could see it being a powerful accelerant or whatever. So if we blow up, you know, the entirety of the island, do we punch a hole in the sky early? Well, I think we're just taking, we're, we're just leveling the surface of the island. So there's no surprises as we look for the bunker. That's my... Flint, did you write, did you write to Rogers? Have you given I... him an update? I, I sent him a quick update last time, but memory escapes me. There's definitely more information that I have. 
like uh, need a battalion stop send soon stop thanks bro thanks stop uh, there was no i don't think we're going to get in a, uh, a battalion within six days that yeah okay but so what happens if we just push six days Dear Diversion. Japan, can Destroy. we borrow a destroyer for an extended amount of time? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, if if we can push it back to to us getting picked up in two weeks, but it sound Tara was was making it sound like we were on a bit of a deadline too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've already asked him to set this up, and then telling him like, actually, now could you? I yeah. think it's screwing up our chances of getting anything in the future. Especially if he finds out that it's because we're working with members of the Chinese Liberation. Mm -hmm. Is it terrible to send Taro first China front. to weaken? I mean, here's my problem. Here's my third problem with Brady, besides the fact that he couldn't charm scrolls out of Madame Lin. Um, number two, he's only got 100 men and won't give us anybody to kill Ho Fang. And, and he's got a tank. Three, 100 men in a tank. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's like saying I have 100 men in a bear. You know, I've got two gorillas and a crazy rich lady. So what? <laughs> Um, but number not, two, is she letting you take the, the gorillas to the island? She's letting you take the gorillas to the island. Now we're I'm just saying is that what happens if it's sort of a round trip situation? We're like kill Ho Fang, we're gonna stop by the island on the way home for some ice cream or whatever. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, where was I? What was my number three? Oh, because he hasn't been doing like I didn't hear much about reconnaissance or much about like any sort of like, let's poke at Ho Fang or let's weaken their defenses or let's stop the Black Mistress from making- no, they, they do regular stops or like That's how we know that uh, Ho Fang is a cult leader. And that there's no structures on the island on the surface. Okay. So, there, so, so there's been some reconnaissance as much as they could without being yeah, they, on the island. Yeah, actually going to the island. So- but I suspect Penny knows is fully. I know that full. You know, I don't know, but like I would suspect that Penny is fully aware that he's here, and that why not keep poking? You know, why not keep poking poking the badger until like you know what I mean? Just keep plucking one off the vine, if you will. Don't. What happened when you guys the faced full strength all the time? What happened when what? When you guys faced Penny? Why aren't you out? Why aren't you out poking Penny? He's cool. We poked him. Yeah, we poked him, we poked him hard. It was entertaining and, and i only yeah, said that I've, I've heard you talk. i've heard you talk in passing about uh what is it stone lions that rampage through the city what else oh, that was that was the second time we poked him the yeah, first time the, the first time we poked him he, he he came in on a flying snake giant space cobra so i'm not gonna fault brady for uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay chicken so he can't take on like concrete lions or a giant space cobra to be fair so what the hell great is he? exactly fair, we we ran rather than deal with it so we have no room to throw to throw stones i i feel like i would have trouble with both of those things so don't again i'm, just, I'm not gonna call the, the kettle black on this one out of character says the man who like saved a headless pilot <laughs> As you do, what what is that? I don't I don't understand. Yeah, I'm I, I I'm I'm gonna pull out pull out one of one of my daggers seemingly from nowhere, troll it around, put it away, and say, not much good against stone. Space cobras, a little more so, but not so good against stone. I have a thought. Mm -hmm. the, the Japanese are, we, I mean, they're not part of this triangle, correct? They're not part of the power structure here. Not yet. They're trying not yet. to. Yeah. So they, it goes forward. The uh, the 100 commandos, the destroyer, if it's successful, fantastic. But if not, we get the hell off that island. And then we go to plan B and let Brady's folks do the next uh, into the meat grinder. I so think we, we should coordinate between the two. And I think taking out a cult leader before we assault the island, especially if that cult leader has horrible powers before anyone tries to assault that island is a good thing. We just have to be somewhat tactful, it seems. Terrible deviousness. Emma has a thought. Someone terrible. could dress up like him and take his place. <laughs> Who here is good at disguise and speaks Mandarin and Catanese? Nope. <laughs> Catanese. We're Cat back to murder cat. Cat so, but if the Japanese take out Ho Fang, then none of us are to blame. Doesn't matter. Remember, mm. if, if Ho Fang gets taken out, then 
Shu Men will reallocate his men to try to restore stability the to the power. area. And so we'll admit, uh, yeah. yeah, and so we'll Madam Lit, and now it becomes a duo as opposed to a tri triangle. So we need to get them to play nice for at least a week, if we, just a week, if we kill him. Then everything can go to hell afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, we'll 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 come in do the, do the American thing of kicking the 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 legs out from under the stool, and then walk away. That mm -hmm. sounds like a great. I, I I can't throw stones. I'm British. We call it freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I now can't. You're, yeah, you're free to put this all go. together. There you go. There you go. I, I I I I can't I can't throw stones. I'm English. We do the same thing. <laughs> oh, what happens if we works. put the Duchess in charge? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say I it. I keep thinking oh, she's we are the bloated going to be woman. On a boat. I it's keep going thinking to be on she's a boat. the bloated woman. Just on a Japanese destroyer. <laughs> <gasps> you must oh, go. She has to be she's on every boat. Every boat we're exactly. on. I'm a diplomatic attaché. Oh. <laughs> please, please make her the captain of the destroyer. Please, just please make it work somehow. No, no, no. <laughs> Not yeah. the captain, but no, somebody <laughs> like the, I like the attache. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the the admiral. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, our favorite Twitch user agrees with us. <laughs> Every boat. It's canon. I mean, she knows swordsmanship, so it's not too much of a stretch. After that, she, she, she does warfare. I would she give her my the fancy sword. And won the boat. <laughs> oh, she no. did. She did beat me. So you know. She must be a, a, fine, a fine. Must be. Must be. Uh, so who are you? I'm sorry. Going to talk to? I don't. Or are you just gonna spring into action? Well, should we do some reconnaissance of Ho Fang to begin with, just in general, just to see what we're up against, to see if we should even take the job? Because we say, yeah, we're gonna do this like it's a yeah. thing, but I mean, he might have a space cobra too, for all I know. Oh, uh, I mean, he's since he's the head leader of one of the the. The triangle, yeah, he's yeah. gonna have a lot. He's the cult leader in China. Yeah, or you know he'll, he'll, he'll for Shanghai. Yeah, or you know he'll, he'll he'll turn out to have lava blood, or he'll ride a you know dragon thing like a what's his ass. No, no more, no Gavigan. more giving him any ideas. Just no more. <laughs> I don't need to give him ideas. He came up with those without me. <laughs> I don't know. I think talking to Madame Lin first to get this hammered out, because otherwise any surveillance on him is just risking our safety for no good reason, right? My thinking is this, if we're gonna take out Ho Fang, we'd have to request that Lin perhaps ask him to meet her at some secret uh, location outside the city that only there's only one way to get to, and on the well, way we ambush him. She was explicit about saying that she could have no involvement, which I also yeah. find interesting because she said she would borrow me her gorillas, but somehow not have involvement when everybody knows she's got gorillas. Yeah, you were told to use them discreetly. As yeah, how you are you going to use giant gorillas? Yeah. Exactly, oh, two wow. tons of like. She has a very inflated opinion of Emma. We, we should we should borrow that tank while we're at it and use it discreetly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. One other thought is this, it, it may be the two of them have some sort of prearranged schedule or she knows his schedule. Because yeah. They, yeah. So either way, I think that it needs to get hammered out with Madame Lynn before we- Do any reconnaissance? Any space and cobras. What, what, um, what are we asking for? So we're asking her for, cause I don't know if I necessarily want to go see her. Cause I just, I'm, I ate too much like bread at lunch and I can't fit into the dress. So like. <laughs> oh, you got a purge. Huh? Okay. Um, oh, oh, whoa. That got personal there. <laughs> Quest and Chaos does not support. <laughs> Perhaps Emma can send her assistants or associates or something to go with her on Emma's behalf. So we're, we're requesting we're if we know, if we know Ho Fang's schedule, perhaps is what we're asking for. Well, we're asking for her to, if we're going to do this, that she has to play nice with Chu Men. Okay. And that she has to grant leniency to Brady if we can get the books back. Those that we can get the books back at a later date to her. Yeah. 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 That we believe. Just yeah, we are confident. And we we can say do that. play nice with 
Chu Min, what is exactly does that mean? That just means in order to attack the island to seek our, just, our no, goal? No, no civil then, war, no civil war in China. None of them until, fighting. They until, maintain well, order in, hmm? the other the question is, destroyed. Then of course they can all kill each other for all I care. Sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the big question is, we, we, we might be able to hammer out that agreement with Madame Lin, but can we get uh, Chu Min to agree yeah. to not attack her on the other side and then her having to retaliate. That is the problem with taking out one of the legs of a three-legged stool. I think yeah. would have to do that for us. He's got the mm -hmm. influence with his fellow. Yeah, I was going to say, if I write that request, then that request needs to go back to Brady as well as our... As our... What, Brady, Brady too. In between. Brady mm -hmm. can't have any involvement. Oh, because th then men will turn on Brady. He'll lose his support. Well, it's a de delicate situation. Whatever yeah. way, the strings being pulled. It's a Our delicate specialty. It's it's a delicate situation, and we're the ones thrown into the middle of it. The we need to have a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whole thing is going to die at some point. It just it might be on the island, or it could be earlier. It's to our benefit for it to be earlier, and we might just need to take him out. Yeah. Regardless. Well, did we make this a murder mystery dinner party? <laughs> that seems like a lot of setup. <laughs> it does, but really, uh, what, okay, never mind. Get, 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 get. We're back in salt marsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So, I mean, we're going around in circles and there doesn't seem to be a good answer. Yeah. No, I don't have any, I don't have any points in conspiracy. Sorry, guys. Uh <laughs> okay, let's just murder Hofeng. Uh, Joan and Emma, make me power rolls. Uh, is, is, does my head itch? Am I, um, I just make it by two points, but I made I it. I made it, 43. Everything's fine. Hopefully Penhue isn't listening in on all of this. Mm -hmm. I say completely out of character. Speaking of which, where is, what, what, what happened to the headdress? It's in somebody's head? Silvano. Uh, Silvano. Silvano. Okay. Whatever's left of Silvano. Yeah. Don't say yeah. it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know parts that are missing, so. Oh. You know. Yeah. So are some of us going to go do surveillance now? Are we, are we giving up on any sort of tactful resolution? I, no, we can't. We have to be able. Boy, to that should something. be an episode title. Give up yeah, on tactical, yeah, tactical resolution. resolution. <laughs> that should be a disclaimer. What do you mean a title? <laughs> Just all the time underneath. Like, well, they we tried to up. think of something tactful, and uh, we got tired of that. <laughs> I mean, I can like. Here's the thing. I don't know if I necessarily want to mention the fact that please play nice with Chu Men because that tips our hand. Yeah. Um, and that we're in dealings with Chu Men or potentially pseudo side dealings with Brady slash Chu Men. I would rather send some information just saying that um, we under, in fact, what would I want to say? Because it essentially- our it's our attention that killing Ho Feng will destabilize this region. We would like that to not happen as it is not in our best interest. Mm -hmm. You yeah. sound like an answering machine. Yeah. Sir, sir or madam. <laughs> but in doing so, killing Ho Fang does forward our my goal as well as potentially, hopefully, your yeah. goal as your goal. Um, and that as a bonus, we will our goal. be able to, once our goals are complete by killing of Penhu, be able to return your scrolls. Does that feel like a good note? Yeah. Without all the having to say killing and people's names and yes. stuff like that yes. that incriminate you. But you no, know. no, no. I, I like it. I like it. The no longer participation within this mortal coil of. I wish Silvana was <laughs> no, here because he could just write this for me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. I mean, well, that's I a job. Know. But I could help. I could help write some of these things because this is some of the kinds of things I'd have to write when we were trying to get okay. things out of Egypt. France. Yeah. My goodness. Okay. So, right. so does that sound feasible to everybody that that would be the letter that I would send? And this is just going to Madame Lynn, right? Correct. And put some perfume in it. <laughs> just be like, pss, pss, and then wave it across. So are you asking her for anything? <laughs> are we? I don't. Just just I mean, her. Just playing nice once yes. there's a vacuum? Yes. 
Yeah, but, I think yeah. that's all we want. I think that's all we need. I mean, do we want gorillas? I mean, do you, I, does anyone here know how to use gorillas discreetly? I can't even understand that. I feel like that's a training course that I need to go to her house for. I just, I feel like that's not something to be like, send gorillas now, please. Because I will ride on the back of a gorilla with a rifle charging in. I'll do that if I have to for the team. You can, you, you can be the distraction. I'll go in a window. <laughs> with a cowboy hat on. Yeah. I can only hope there's an American flag on your shirt somewhere. Yeah. That would be awesome. Oh, gods above, you are painfully With the little American. tassels and the, yeah. yeah. You are painfully American. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> through the town with some six shooters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love our Wild West show. Yeah. If we, if we actually play Wild West Cthulhu, that should be a thing that happens at some point. <laughs> well, that, I mean, yeah. that would be a great distraction, kind of the Wild it West is. show. It really is. It, it I could, I could figure out how to do that. But Ezra will have to give me an instant uh, skill check in uh, animal handle. What, what is what is what is right gorilla distraction skill? Uh, it sounds like a new skill for me. Animal handling. Is that on the? Mm. I'm just trying to look and see. Don't we know a circus performer? No. Charm. Yeah. Don't. She's, Charm. She's, she's she's often well. Okay, one of our team members knows. Two of our team members know her. Yes. She showed up re not too long ago. Yes. So it looks like we are starting the first giveaway, which is also Thomas's clever way of saying oh. we should probably take a break. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So uh, hashtag chaos will get you entered to win either a physical or a PDF. I guess your choice. I don't know. I don't know. Thomas, what is it? I can't hear you through the door. <laughs> nope. We're doing both. We're doing both simultaneously. So back to be back. Back we're to doing back. It live. Yep, we're doing it live. So right. put your name in because well, you what could. What is this? Both. So you, if you put your name in, you're eligible for both, and then we draw, and then we draw again. And so wow. whoever didn't win the first time is still in the drawing for the second time. I like how Nick just asked what giveaway as if he could win. <laughs> no, I, I feel that this is important for people to understand. <laughs> Uh, so we are going to take a break. We'll be back just as soon as five, six people can use six bathrooms. Don't know why I I'm lost count of how many of us there are. We all have little Zoom boxes. I That's what confused that. me, the extra Zoom boxes. Oh, so you got to hide that. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. That's there nice. we go. All right, we will be back shortly.
Welcome back. There it is, the complete Eye of Light and Darkness, a Slithy Tove production. Oh, now it's broken. Look oh, at those no. production values. Oh, now evil's going to come in the world. Yeah. Dang it, Amy. Well, Nairo Thotep always has a host that will break the, the seal, and we now know that Emma is that. Uh, yeah, I broke the seal just five minutes ago. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Gordon Beer. I got everybody. it. Gordon Beer. Gordon Beer, <laughs> everybody. Uh, so, uh, yeah, when we went to break, uh, there was, had been a lot of trying to figure out how to somehow make please all their various dates to the prom <laughs> without letting them know that they had other dates to the prom. And uh, it was all very high school, but with guns and a destroyer. So, high school. <laughs> so, you went to a tough high school, man. <laughs> I, was, I, I was raised in Alaska. Oh, there, well, you there, you there you go. Uh, we're going to announce the winner of uh, the giveaway shortly, as soon as the squirrels on treadmills that are currently running uh, and everything thought, yeah. there. This is your last chance to get hashtag chaos in there. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, you're sending Madam Lynn a, uh, a, a letter that basically says, we're gonna kill Ho Fang. What's in it for us? Is that we're gonna kill Ho Fang? Please, please, please be nice to uh, to to Chu Min and don't and don't start the next civil war in the middle of the sitting. Okay. And and we are working on getting your book back, so yeah. don't worry about that. And this yeah, letter... that will come at a later date, but we need to do some things. So our first winner Ooh. is Crystal Sparkles Brina who also ah. recently, a while ago, won the um, won the calendar, won the gaming calendar. Oh, neat. Awesome. And it's also cool. has an awesome, awesome, awesome username. It's true. It's true. Congratulations. Yay. Uh, Chris, I want it to be Crystal Sparkle Brain. That's how I- Brains. Uh, I think Crystal Sparkle Brain is the zombie, uh, uh, not like uh, not Teletubby, the ponies, the do the the oh, dog. Yeah, the my little pony. Of, my little pony. That's what it is. It's the equivalent, yes. The zombie, zombie, my little pony. Oh my gosh! And we're kicking it old school. The second win the second winner. It should be the second whiner, is Winter Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> the way Amy lit up when you said <gasps> that. She <laughs> I was there like, I know who that is. <laughs> there are no vowels in this contest. We have, I love actually, it. We, have, we have Crystal Sparkle Brena, which is every vowel, <laughs> and Winter Nightingale, which is no vowels. And together, they're almost a whole person. And sometimes why? <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> no, no. With Winter Nightingale, it's always why. None of that sometimes stuff. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations, Crystal. Let's We can turn them into one power user. Crystal Sparkle Brina Gale. Mm. No. Yeah. Of the winter. Apparently. <laughs> of the winter. Um, congratulations, you two. Uh, I think chat to Thomas and he'll get figured out who gets which book. You guys can hash mm -hmm. it out amongst yourselves. We have a physical copy and a PDF of the uh, Call of Cthulhu starters kit. The bonus yep. to the PDF is you get it tomorrow. Mm. The bonus to the physical one is if you're like me and can't read stuff on screens, you can actually read it. So if you're old, really is. So is it a Rochambeau for who's older? <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, parrot shark? I was like, we can't give you the physical copy until you show me your what? reading glasses. I can't see. What do you have? <laughs> exactly. Show me your reading glasses. We'll get you the book. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Rock. You said Rock. Mm. Oh, and that is, again, all thanks to Lonely Yeti for Lonely doing the kind Yeti. donation so that we could give those giveaways today. And speaking of which, somebody we know <laughs> stopped by and dropped some stuff off at the studio earlier today. And Lonely Wait. Yeti will be getting a copy of this. And we will also be giving away a couple of copies on the mitten on Monday. So tune in if you are interested in watching some Carbon 2185. And for those of you who couldn't tell, that was a sticker of Warren. Taking a, taking a yeah. selfie, I think. And he literally Most puts them you. around San Francisco. It's There's a problem <laughs> with that kid. So so, oh, so, so there he's, he's you go. If, a selfie, that's outstanding. It's a picture of him doing a selfie. It's yeah. I'm. I like it. Who, like I like it. 
It just them? needs a bookmark part underneath it. <laughs> Isn't or, that a great book? Or, or a little puppet stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Warren the Shadow Puppet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that, that 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 could be a lot of fun for any of our viewers who are in or in or in, in or around San Francisco or are coming to visit. It's when the, you know the 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 world goes back. Um, look like for Warren. you know it's it's a treasure hunt. Go looking yeah. for Warren. Yes. It's not really a treasure. <laughs> Warren is a treasure. Uh, you know you can find the urban mask all over San Francisco. Uh, you can usually tell by the urban musk. <laughs> No, I have no comments. <laughs> He's been in our bathroom. Wow, this took a dark turn. I'm just gonna sit here and smile. <laughs> this, this took a dark turn. Mm. Anyway, what am I Booze. doing? Let the record show at? that Warren is the only GM that I like would play with here. So you know, I'm 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 Love you. I'm on Team Warren here. Or I'm not cool enough to pull off Team Herbs. <laughs> Fair. Uh, all right, so <laughs> shifting quickly away from insulting fellow cast members. <laughs> Here's the all thing I about say. Tom. I mean, uh, look, the only person that everyone should insult is Thomas. That's really. I try okay. so hard. Low hanging fruit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the way up here. He can't, he can't yell at me. No, no, you mean he's all the way up there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> what, what are you? What are you I've got to open up Twitch. Who he's are you like pointing, pointing at? at random things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is, he is significantly taller than me. You're correct. But I'm also further north than he is. Yeah. Yeah, so that means he is he is that down below. We're okay. <laughs> phrasing. It all just. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I don't welcome know. back to the break, everybody. <laughs> hey, we've had winners. We've had losers. Oh, Yay, I feel like I'm now. on that side of it. And crystal sparkle brains, we appreciate and love both of you. Congratulations. Uh, so you send this letter to Madam Lynn and. Is that what is this like? You know, high uh, grade school mash note with a y check yes or no at the bottom. Is this what? Do you ask for a reply or is this just an advisory letter? I thought we asked for an itinerary from Ho Fang. Oh, you want to know what Ho Fang is doing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our mutual well, friends. We're asking for info. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Winter Nightingale says Winter Crystal Sparkle Gale is their power couple name. I, I ship it. That is, that is a great ship name. Yeah. What what is no I don't want to. ship it. <laughs> it's 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 internet speak. Don't worry about it. The less I know, the happier I am. Is all of shippers. Uh, I'm a contrarian shipper just because it's fun. <laughs> I'm a sometimes UPS shipper. <laughs> FedEx <laughs> man. Sometimes I shit my pants. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and then they you go out and they, okay. Okay. I'll see it again. Dude. We have to fast. You didn't, you didn't see the Kmart, like, advertise. Never mind. Okay. It's a marketing thing, Nick. Don't worry about it. Okay. I won't. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine the marketing campaign behind I ship my pants. It was amazing. Kmart did it. And they're like, I, they're just people standing around in Kmart going, I ship my pants. And you're just like, I'm sorry, what? You get away from me. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. I, I think we're here playing a game. Is were that, we? Know, are, are you are sure? No, I thought, I think I was misled. Yeah, I think. Wow. We all. I think so you write to Madam Lynn and let her know time. that you ship your pants. Okay. <laughs> I called you. Really, Nick, this is an intervention. We're your friends. We're worried about you. I'm worried Our about you now, too. asked us to make sure that you keep drinking. Yep. You got to get out of that room. There's nothing in it. <laughs> it's not a room. It's a Zoom background. I once thought about hanging something up on a wall. Don't. I decided against it. Most people would say the wall. You said a wall. Yeah. <laughs> like just 
some wall somewhere. Just a wall. Yeah, wall. Yeah, I could put one of your in. walls. Yeah. Wow, JD Matt. I'm sorry. Now I'm also calling him JD Matthews. J Matthews eighty five just asked me to be quiet for five hundred bits. <laughs> that is why he is now my favorite Twitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> all, all all of Ezra's Christmases just came at once. <laughs> there, no, are you kidding? <laughs> the more. The more oh, I'm sorry, the- all, all of your Hanukkahs came at once. Yeah. <laughs> Amy is the mitzvah that keeps on giving. <laughs> There's no one in any of these casts that I like as much as I like Amy. It's Amy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I thought it was Emma now. I thought she'd completely- It's Emma. She's, she's just legally yeah. transitioned over to Emma. Uh, all right, so um, you will, um, are you just going to wait around for a reply? I suppose. I think some of us that have never worn a headdress before could consider <laughs> doing a little bit of surveillance. I mean, and and to be fair, it's the it's the uh, the hitters who have never worn yeah. it at this point. Yeah. yeah. And, and we did send some that your assistant over to help. Yes. Yeah. To help yeah. with the translation. He's already over with uh, uh, helping translate. Sure. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, now he's trying to walk it back. <laughs> Oh, what? I, I, you know, five minutes was it? What? Hmm? So, uh, she's going to be spitefully quiet for the rest of this night. Probably. <laughs> and then 1987 called. <laughs> At least it was your landline and not mine. I don't know whose phone that was. Was it? Wasn't ah. mine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you um, you will. In the late afternoon, you get uh, um, a message, a messenger, actually. Uh, it's Mr. Wu, the, the guy, that uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, her right-hand man. He knocks on your door. He knocks on Emma's door. Are we all hanging out with Emma, or have, or are we in our separate rooms? I, well, are, are we out doing surveillance? Yeah, I thought, were you guys going to do surveillance or no? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, sorry. We'll we'll split uh, the party. So first, I'm we'll not. deal with Emma at the. <laughs> so, uh, you are all hanging out in Emma's room, and there's a knock at the door, and it's Mr. Wu, and he he says, uh, "Madam Lin was very happy to receive your letter. She mm-hmm. asked me to give you this," and he hands over a a huge dusty old book. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, it is the third gift. And she said she would be happy to give you information about the travels of Mr. Ho Fang. Uh, all you have to do is come join her for dinner. Right. Who's, with, who's in the room with me? Who left? I think that it's just you and Joan at this point. Everybody else is doing reconnaissance. Because oh, you guys weren't the hitters. I right. No, we're con- not. Uh, we've, uh, we've got caught a lot doing reconnaissance lately. We keep getting spotted while doing reconnaissance constantly. I think. Well, we- not least because we are white people in the middle of Shanghai. <laughs> so. It's a contributing factor. A little bit. Let's, so let's you, and Joan, have, you and Joan have been invited to dinner at Madame Lin's. Um, Mr. Wu. Uh, if we're not otherwise engaged, if you understand. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, what do you mean? Um, Is there somewhere else you need to have dinner? No, it's not dinner, perhaps. It's um, it's unless we're otherwise engaged, taking care of a certain matter for business, yeah. Madam Lynn. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very confused because... It seems like you are asking Madame Lin for information of a matter that you think you're handling now? Perhaps. I need to be open to all possibilities. Well, Madame Lin is very glad to hear that. <laughs> Can you shut the door, please? <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> you got the Thomas laugh. Well done. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, well, I will certainly tell her that then. I will take a rain check. Um, I must keep my, my mind focused on what the current task at hand. 
Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, and so, yeah, he'll head off. All right. So surveillance people, and you, dinner uh, you had already, you already have the address of Ho Fang's uh, compound and, and it is a compound. Whereas, whereas Madam Lin's place is like a villa that happens to have a wall around it. This is a compound there. The, the walls are no nonsense. Uh, the guards don't even pretend to be nice. Um, you watch, you can watch the place. It seems like cars come in and out fairly regularly can we find a place that is elevated to look at it from with rifles that's not a good or, idea or binoculars uh, binoculars, binoculars would be a good first step <laughs> i'm i'm just saying nothing i'm not saying nothing sure yeah you find well all right let me rephrase this uh if if i get let me see. I'm gonna let's roll it. If I get two stealth successes from the three of you, you'll have a good hidden spot. Otherwise, you'll have a spot that you can you have a good observation point, but it just won't be quite as hidden. All right, so there's one. Damn it. Yeah, got it. Woot. All right, so there's two. So yeah, you find a pretty good secluded spot. Um did either of you get a hard success? No. Regular. Okay. But you, yeah, you have a pretty good secluded spot. Uh, right. Who knows if you were followed or not? Yeah. You were probably followed. Can, can we do a spot hidden to find to figure that out? Or sure, yeah, sure. Look around. Nope, nope, close, but no. Nope. Yes. Uh, the... Did you get a hard success, Alexandra? No, I got a regular success. The birds of paradise are a little bit confusing sometimes because the 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 ones oh, ten double hundred, yeah, yeah. So I was like, that's it's being that because, That's because you have a prototype. Mine, uh, my birds of paradise have a single zero. So anybody who wants to get these lovely dice, you don't have to worry that when you get them, they will not have uh, they will not have that misprint in them. Uh, do I don't want... think it's a misprint. I think that was a choice that, that that she made for for the ones with her with her mold because the ones that you have were were purchased from another company. I think. I I think she was she caught that or when we caught it she mentioned that she was going to change it. But I'm. We'll find out. Yeah. Do we want Donald? To nice either way. Use They're inspiration gorgeous. to make sure that we have a good place. Uh, this was for spot hidden, not. Uh, yeah, stealth. for knowing if we were followed. I'm I'm down. We have plenty. Yeah, we have a ton of those words. Spot him. Forty. Ah, there we go. Forty is a success. Okay. Uh, so you both don't think you were followed. If you were followed, you were followed by people that are more subtle than the usual people following. Great. So yeah, you observe this place for a uh, a good chunk of the late afternoon and into the evening. Um, there are several cars that come in and out. Uh, there are a bunch of guards. Uh, you got a good stealth roll, so I will give you that the manor itself is... Let's see here. The manor itself is a two-story manor. You figure it's got... It's, it's very large. You figure there's probably uh, 20 rooms. Yeah, 20 rooms. Uh, on, like each floor, like the, or sorry, the bottom floor. The ground floor is expansive, and then the second floor is a little smaller. And uh, it looks like it is spread out. There might be actually two, it might be made up of two different buildings. Okay. Um, looking at it, is there anywhere that we could theoretically get over a wall if uh, there was a distraction at the front? Yeah. I mean, the wall is, the wall would be a tough, it's made, you know, the wall, this wall was not made to be climbed. Mm -hmm. But you, you, I mean, you figure, you know, you could, uh, who knows what the situation is on the other side of the wall. Because you'd be going around the back of the house, basically, sure. which you can't really see. 
Okay. If there's any way that, that we can get eyes on the back of the house, that would be, I, if, 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 uh, if, if at some point we want to shift and have a look at the back of the house, I'm, I'm an up close person and that is going in the front is not ideal for me. I have a bad feeling about this, Alexandra. This is not a location we want to engage an enemy in. There's, there's too much security, too much risk here. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping more for uh, the potential for a clean shot from here. That, that would be ideal, but if that's not possible, we may have to engage in the yeah. house. None of you have met Ho Fang. Nope. No, None no, of you know what he him. looks like. Nope. I feel like I've seen him. I, the, the, but that, I'm not sure that about that. not described him. That um, would seem like something. She has not. Well, then we're just going to watch and see if anyone looks important and take notes. <laughs> You're like, this person seems important. Um, you, I mean, there are a lot of guys in suits. How many are we, are we talking about here? You probably see two dozen uh, black suited guys sort of walking around the front. So the gate opens and there's like a courtyard and you can see into the courtyard um, minus the fence. And, you know, there's a number of guys there and sometimes cars will come in and the guys will like take stuff out of the car or put stuff in the car, that sort of thing. How do we feel about explosives? If we can figure out where one of those cars is coming from, uh, we can get expo We could get explosives on it. Yeah, and that wouldn't be sufficient for twenty-four people that we can we can see. There's so many more we haven't seen. Well, yeah. if, if, if we can clear down some of the twenty-four with an exploding car, that would certainly level the playing field. Car bomb is uh, not out of the realm of possibility. When have the Irish ever used? Car I was bomb? going to say it's it, that, that's something that you should be pleased about, friend. <laughs> it's a messy tool, um, but a, but a useful tool if you if you know if you uh, deploy it correctly. If it doesn't work, though, I don't like them. It's incredibly space. hard to get a second chance. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll get fortunate enough that we actually get the information that we need from from Madame Lynn and find a more outdoor place where we can pick them off. But. Uh, oof. Everyone who is doing reconnaissance, make me a luck roll. Uh -oh. oh, what is my luck with this character? Twenty-six. Um, Thirty-four. Regular success, I think. You all made it. All right. I so got a hard success. Yeah. That's four successes. So at a certain point, as you are, um, as you're watching. Uh, you definitely notice that one of the men who comes out of the car is Caucasian. He's this gentleman with glasses on. Uh, and he gets out uh, and he is carrying several like satchels and packages and he goes into the house and he stays in the house. You don't see him come back out. Hmm. Any idea who that fellow might be? Not a clue. You, he did not look familiar at all to you. But someone who is Caucasian tied into Ho Fang, someone will know. Madame Lin would certainly know. Yes. Well, if, if uh, Ho Fang is involved with cults, then it would make sense that he potentially has contact with other cults around the globe as these all seem connected. Well, we know that, um, what is his name? The, yeah, the, you. Thank you. <clears throat> I keep wanting to call him D something. Maybe because I think he's a D bag, but <laughs> um, Ga uh, uh, Gavigan called ahead essentially and he was speaking Chinese. So I, it sounded like at least there was some connection between in the, the, the English and the, the Shanghai branches at the very minimum. Okay. But yeah, your reconnaissance will, again, uh, at the end of the evening, your reconnaissance will tell you that this place is well manned. Uh, it is um, a, a, a small fortress, and uh, that you have no idea 
<laughs> you have no idea who is Ho Fang. I do. I, I'm curious if I can estimate. Do I think if I was riding a gorilla that it could scale the walls with me? Uh, I mean, from hypothetically what you know about, here. From what you know about gorillas, yes. Hmm. And you don't want to live in a world where that wouldn't be true. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find that uh, that jacket. Western shirt. <laughs> yeah. They sell those here. Uh, so you come back that evening, and uh, the ladies are are having their liquid lunch. Liquid lunch for dinner? I thought we were gonna go talk to Madam Lynn. It's about it's about nine o'clock by the time you guys get back. Mm. We don't want to try and assault that building. Not not in a head on anything if we can avoid it. That place is a castle. Mm. So, out. I have a quick. Can we rewind for a second? I have a quick like while Joan and I while Joan and I were together. Hundred percent. Joan would obviously want to look at the book, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, so this is a very old. Uh, probably you think very uh, expensive um, uh, uh, folio of uh, Shakespeare's plays. Okay. Yeah. It's and do I need to do any kind of like, uh, I need to see if it's real or? Uh, sure, yeah, is you it, can, yeah. Is it, is it in English or is it in? It's in English. Okay. And is there any specific, like, as I look through it, is there anything specific that stands out to me, like a marker or a worn page or something that would indicate, like, something deeper than just, like, oh, it's a book. Here you go. Let's see what Joan gets with the appraisal. Yeah. I got a 53 with just, just a normal appraise. Okay. So, yeah, these this is, this is a very real, beautiful old book. Uh, Emma, there is a pressed flower a lotus uh, is pressed on the intro page to Love's Labor's Lost. Ooh. Okay. And is there anything there that would indicate a further message other than inappropriate? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> a picture falls out. A picture of Ho Fang. I have seen that picture. I just don't remember why we saw it. Mm. Oh, good. Well, I don't recall. Huh. When did Ho Fang show up? I'm I'm positive that I've seen that picture. Maybe he was walking <laughs> towards the boat. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Uh, but so yeah, you recognize okay. now. You have a picture of Ho Fang. Okay. Interesting, and it's on the page so, marked. So I just I'm like interesting. It's on the page marked uh, "Love's Labor Lost." I wonder if Jack Brady wasn't the only conquest lately. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, so you think maybe it's a uh, a revenge scenario? I mean, it's revenge all the way around, but yeah, but you know what I mean. It's revenge uh, all the way down. When you when you pull it out on the back, mm -hmm. is written an address, and the address is the address. You you can look it up in the phone book. It is for a brewery in the warehouse district of uh, Shanghai. Okay. okay. Be careful. This is how she breaks up with people. <laughs> <laughs> what, she kills them or does she give them just... Probably. <sighs> it's not me. It's you. <laughs> exactly. Boom. <laughs> so I'm going to go down to the concierge while these guys are doing whatever and just ask about the brewery. Uh, like, okay, that's where. Yeah, he'll he'll look up the address for you, and he'll tell you that it's a a brewery in uh, a not very good part of town. Okay, so it's not in the um, whatever not part of town. National district. No. Okay, and it brews local beer. Probably. Okay. I'm not familiar. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm assuming it's their warehouse. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Emma's been around a brewery before. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So right. I go back upstairs. And I'm just like, this is interesting. I don't know what this means. Does this mean that that's where Ho Fang will be? Um, Maybe that's where he has meetings. Yeah, where he, yeah, takes his meetings. Yeah. But 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 we see. So are are we back at this point? Not yeah. yet. Yeah, everybody's yeah. back okay. together. Cool. So when you guys come back, I'm just like, okay. Ugh. She asked me to go to dinner them. again. I don't want to go to dinner again. I'm just, it's getting to be a little bit too much. And we either need to kill this dude and get it all over with, or I just need to leave town because it's getting annoying. Um, but she gave me this book. Nothing. What? Nothing. What's your appearance? Should I send you next time? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should not. You should not send uh, Flint. No. Eh, I don't know. Chisel, Chisel Jot American. He might do. Madam well. Lynn does not like mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man's man, Thorncup. You know that's a great thing to know because next week I might be wearing a mustache as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you so, said you said she sent you a book. Yes, and inside the book, yeah, loves Lauren Lost or whatever. Um, and then I hand everybody it's Shakespeare, the picture. guys. It's real. Be careful. Be very careful with it. Loves mm. Labor's Lost. What an interesting thing to bookmark. That's not one of the more well-known comedies. It's a comedy that ends with a death. Oh goody! <laughs> That's is there not fire in it? So anyway, um, I, I think passed. this is a comedy that ends with a death. <laughs> well, the, 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 thing, the thing about most of Shakespeare's comedies is they end in marriages and the tragedies end in obviously deaths, but it's unusual to have a comedy that ends with a death. Not nowadays. So what's the story of that play though? I, I'm not familiar with it. Um, it's it's about uh, uh, people who who have, who have sworn off of love and then immediately fall in love oh, with no. people and and are forsworn almost against instantly. their will. You know. Shenanigans. Does anyone yeah. anybody want Ho Fang's address? I'm just I'll, standing I'll, here I'll waving it. it around while we're chit chatting about poetry. Yank. <laughs> Thank you. you. That's a picture too, right? Did one we? Would, one would gather. Did we see the 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 gentleman on the picture going around? Not. Okay. So this is who we were looking for. We didn't see him. No, and the address was. So I went downstairs to find out from the concierge what this place was. And he said it was a brewery and it wasn't in the international area. So it was within the local warehouse district, if you will. Ooh. Which I can only make some assumptions. I would suspect just like our um, Japanese jet friend that the warehouse could potentially be just like his warehouse full of items that aren't necessarily brewing. Or, or a place where they meet. Mm -hmm. This is going to be at tomorrow, perhaps. And and if that's the case, it may be significantly easier to reach him there than in his castle. Mm -hmm. Much or more. here's a play. How about we just figure out when he's going to be on the island with Penhue and then just go in all together at once and say, we couldn't get him while he was in town. We need to do it at the island. And then everything goes... So we have no time. way of we have no way of matching that up when they decide to start bombarding the island. Well, that and and do we really want to have two cult leaders on the island at the same time? I mean, you remember you remember you do you remember what Gavigan could do? Having yeah. having someone of Gavigan's talents in the same place as Penhue, and we know what he can do. That would be icky. I don't like this. <laughs> If we can take care of them separately, I think that would be the better play. But... The golden conquer. Yes, exactly. I just, I just don't like going after Ho Fang on his home turf. No, me neither. And the brewery should be it. But the brewery is his home turf if it's if it's one of his warehouses. Yeah. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a place he's looking into uh, for a future purchase, or maybe he's meeting Madame Lynn there tomorrow. Uh, should she say why this address? No, she sent a book and a flower. Thank God she didn't send a dress. That's all I've got to say. What kind of what kind of flower? What was it? A lotus. A lotus, yeah. So oh, pretty. It was pressed in the book. Yeah, I think she might be upset if we didn't go to dinner like she wanted. Oh. She was going to give us more info there, but this is the info that we got. She she said that she would we would get Ho Fang's entire not entire agenda but we would get a schedule. 
but uh, Emma sent one of her associates to get this information. I think Emma only has one associate. <laughs> <Islam>. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> <laughs> What, you want me to go to her house and see what she says or what? I'm just saying Flint wanted to ride a gorilla. I don't know, I've never met her and I don't know where she is. Are you sure you <laughs> want to send amazing. me? That would be amazing, put you in a car and be like, I'm here to ride a gorilla. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you want to send me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying yes, but I'm not saying no. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you uh, seen my appearance? <laughs> what, what is your appearance, Joan? 40. Hey, same thing. <laughs> We're all very plain. <laughs> I good usually, trait I, for assassins. I, yeah. I, 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 I usually let my voice do the work for me. I didn't need the, the looks. Yep. Yep, and when you're digging up things, nobody cares how you look. But either way, we have to get dinner somewhere. <laughs> Nine o'clock at night, isn't it? Well, have you eaten yet? We haven't eaten. You came back with me, so I don't think so. The hotel will happily get you all set up. Mm -hmm. I have been with you literally for the last several hours. You know exactly yeah. when I ate last. So unless, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're far better at stealth than I give you credit for. So... <laughs> I mean, off for sticky buns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sneaky. All right, so it is now the night of the 26th. Everyone's getting ready for bed. You all have your own rooms, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Emma and Joan, both of you make me pow rolls. Oh, please. Ooh, three. Everything's fine. Very nice. 27, which is my hard. Very Ooh. nice. Yeah, everything's fine. Um, Alexandra, at oh. about one in the morning, you you have a a trained ear. Uh, you clearly hear something in your room. Okay. Um, I'm going to wake up and do my best to control my breathing so it doesn't sound like I've woken up mm -hmm. and like shift a little bit like I'm shifting position in, in my sleep while getting a hand on my dagger and listening for what is in the room with me. All right, on your wall, almost like in calligraphy or in brush strokes or like that bad aha video. I, why would I say that? I love aha. Or like that aha video. Uh, you see clearly the form of Silvano doing this. Just terror on his face, terror and pain. Is there anything else in the room with me that I can pick out? No, this is the, this is. All right, I'm gonna sli uh, uh, slip out of bed and like walk over to see to see if he can see me. Okay, he's looking right at you. We have like, we're coming, and try to like enunciate as much as possible so he can read my lips. Uh, uh. All right, you say we're we're coming, and um, you hear uh, you hear the voice of Aubrey Penhue. Or no, actually, well, the voice of the headdress, really, but mm -hmm. Aubrey Penhew. Uh, like, all of a sudden, the headdress is around Silvano's head again. And uh, the headdress, uh, uh, the headdress says, not fast enough. And then you see the headdress, like, off the top of it, like, teeth just start going like this into Silvano's brain. I don't cry out because I'm better trained than that, but like my my hand tenses on on the dagger. Like I if, if I if I felt like I could cut him out of the wallpaper, I would. When you say if I could cut him out of the wallpaper, the figure starts to like rip itself out of the wall. And the paper, like it's still two-dimensional. 
and Paper Silvano starts to like reach out for you from the wall. And behind behind him, you see the wallpaper coming off the wall. Back up a pace. All right. And then like get 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 a look around. Does it look like a person trying to push through? It is a this is wall, it is wallpaper come to life. Oh, there is back. some image on the wallpaper. And like as you're watching, Silvano's eyes have like his his um his eyes have essentially like rolled up into his head and they've joined the headdress of eyes and so his there's just blank where his eyes would be and the two eyes at the top of the headdress of eyes open and the headdress is now a bloody crown on top of silvano and then you see um Actually, then you hear, uh, you hear the headdress say, uh, oh, but that's not enough. And all of a sudden, on the wallpaper, you see Joan and you see Emma. And they both only have one eye of the headdress in their forehead. And that eye similarly opens and their eyes disappear and they start to rip themselves out of the wall and start to reach for you, kind of blindly. Okay. I'm gonna burn the hotel down. <laughs> Do not tempt me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna back up and not, like like find 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 a corner to put my back into so that there isn't a, a corner that where wallpaper isn't immediately reaching for me. Okay. You you are so you have. You have two choices. You can either go into the corner by the dresser that will have you be sort of, that'll be the corner you're in, or you can go out on the patio. What floor are we on? We're on like the fourth floor. We're on the fourth floor. I'm going to be in, 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 in the corner by the dresser. Less chance of being shoved off the patio. Okay. So <laughs> um, you are being cornered. They aren't touching you, but they are like, they've crowded you into the corner. What the hell do you want? Why do you question a god? You're not a god. You're a you're a you're a narcissistic male. Potato potato. <laughs> Would a narcissistic male be able to do this and Silvano's hands? like reach out and um, both of them reach into Emma and Joan's head and they like go right through the paper. Uh, and then, and then he says, uh, uh, and then you hear him say, and what would I do without my puppets? And then the, the head, the, the two arms bring the heads of Emma and Joan sort of coming towards you. And all of a sudden they're like, um, their teeth are just gnashing at you. Okay. Um, and it's at that point you wake up. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I'm, pick, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to fight back against this. So I like wake up in a cold sweat, like yeah, you wake up upright. and everything feels super real to you. That whole thing felt very real. I'm 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 gonna get up and I, I get out of bed and go and look at that wall that Silvana was coming out of. It's a normal wall. The wallpaper now makes you shudder. <laughs> that floral print seems to have like a sinister hint to it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna step outside onto the patio for a second to catch my breath and some cold air before going seeing if I can sleep anymore. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the night, the rest of the night passes uneventfully. It is now the morning of April 27th, five days until you are supposed to be on a Japanese destroyer. Yeah, and, 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 when, and, and, when I, and when I come down to breakfast, I immediately reach for the coffee pot and with like dark circles under my eyes. And I, 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 don't, I don't even like pour into a mug. I just take the coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, looks like you had a bad night, Alexandra. What's up? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and, and like every time Emma and Joan get
get like they're the first two that get a little too close to you and like you feel that reflex i just like startled back a step before and and like reach reach for one of the daggers that you know i always have and, and, on. yeah and then, going, nope 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 these are the real ones nope stop it <laughs> okay so you're getting a little feisty over the coffee i'll just go get coffee someplace else it's fine <laughs> by the way alexandra make me a sanity roll yeah oh god you should really make this sanity roll. Oh no. Is that inspiration for yeah. yeah. My god, I got an eleven. I made it. <laughs> All right. You yeah. lose three points of sanity. Oh. Uh and yeah, you oh, no. are like you know, you are you are a little on edge. Uh, for the rest of the day, you're on edge around Joan and Emma. You really don't want to be alone with them. You oh, want to talk about it. You you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Doyleson. Don't even start with me. Oh, Thunder, what, what happened? Hey, hey, if my head ever got detached, I would want him there. <laughs> <laughs> that is an awfully specific comment to make. All right. Well, he's good at reattaching heads. I've seen it. I'm going to go sit in the corner until wow. at least after breakfast wow. because it's just too much too early. Zip. <laughs> too much. Too much. I'm really just trying to get at that coffee, though. <laughs> nope. Mine. I'm gonna, Flint, I'm gonna get another cup. I'm gonna get another cup because she was about to stab me for that one. So I'm gonna <laughs> just go ask the guy to get me another carafe, if you will. Alexandra, perhaps we could share the coffee a bit with the others. I'll help. Fine. <laughs> I put the mug of coffee in. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll set, I'll set the, pot, the, the pot of coffee down and pour myself a very civilized mug before pushing it back into the center of the table. Mostly toward Donald because I'm staying away from everyone else. Yeah, getting really oh. bad vibes off of you. I had a very bad dream and I'm not entirely sure it was a dream. Maybe you shouldn't carry around a finger in your pocket. Here's here's my finger for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we've had enough stuff going on that I'm not surprised you're having a bad dream. No, it, I don't think it was a dream. I really don't. It It felt too real. Either it was an actual projection into my room or someone was fucking around with my head and I don't like either option. Do you, okay. do you have an, no, did you tell no. us who or who was yeah, behind I was it? Say, I can guess his name starts with B, his last name starts with F. What did he do? <laughs> I dreamed that Silvano came through the wallpaper and the headdress had taken him over. Did you try and pull him into our world? It wasn't him, not really. Pardon me, I just have to interject that Emma apparently thinks Pharaoh starts with an F. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to, anyhow. And so was I. I was going like, like who's the F? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just going to let it go because I thought maybe I misheard P. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm... you do realize my intelligence is 20. Yeah, so well, like I P, H, and F are all the same letter to me. <laughs> How do you demonstrate Emma's intelligence wow. of 20? Well, P, L, and B. Good. Well, I'm glad that got cl cleared up because I had no. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, and like in, fit, in in fits and starts, I will describe the first part of the dream, and some and some of what Penhu said. But I won't mention Emma and Joan being in the wallpaper or being used as puppets, mm -hmm. at least not at the moment. All right. So you weren't able to pull Silvano out to us. I don't, it, it, I have a very bad feeling that there isn't much of Silvano left at this point. I think that the headdress has taken him over to the point where whatever's left of him it would need a, an exorcism. Do, a which one. is possible, it and we could request one. <laughs> have you, did you ring? But also, I wonder, does Brady's book have anything to separate the two? Maybe, and that would be very hopeful if so. It, it was 
it was like a two-dimensional object was trying to pass through the wallpaper. It wasn't a person. It wasn't like rubber being stretched around a person. It was a piece of the wall coming forward. I don't, Oof. I don't think I could okay. have them in. Alexander, you, um, you were cut on a, the boat and lost some blood there. Yes. Oh, son of a... Of course he's using that. Yeah. Focus. Your blood is like every, every villain known to man has your blood at this point. <laughs> to be fair though, the only other two that have had it, we've killed. Here we go. When you say the only other two, like that. <laughs> it was it was Gavigan and it was what's her face on the boat. They were so the only two who they, they were the only two who had my blood that, and that you know dead. about that you know about. Yeah. Fair. And then this was this, this like sigh looked down at the table and say, damn it, there was more. He Penhu refused to the refused referred to the two of you as his puppets. And your images showed up in the wallpaper. And he reached out and stuck his hands into your heads and we're using them at me. At this point, I think he's just trying to manipulate you because I don't, like all the dumb ideas are all my own. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I, I I completely believe it, but here- <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you agree that my dumbness is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean- El Pharaoh. <laughs> there is- An <laughs> A-R-O-W. <laughs> There, there is often brilliance in, in, in your ideas. I don't discount them just because they seem off the wall. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that said, both of you wore the headdress. Yes. And we are, we are worried, are we not, that he ha might have a, a tendril in your heads because of it. I haven't heard that him I since. I haven't heard him yeah, since. Yeah, I haven't heard him, but that doesn't mean that he's not lurking. Right, and that and that's what I'm concerned about. I think that that he was making the, the implicit explicit, so to speak, where he where he was making it very clear that he does have a link into your brains. But would he tell you that for certain? To, I mean, would he to, literally give his hand? I mean, again, villains aren't the smartest people. But would you say, "Oh, look at all the cards I have to play," and then show you the cards? To fuck with me and make me not trust you? Absolutely, he would. Okay, as opposed yeah. to giving his hand saying that I can control these three individuals or these two individuals that you know. Sure, because at, at, at any point um, I would have to either, so the, the, the way that I can see him wanting it to play out is either he does take control of you and there's a problem or I start not telling you things because I'm afraid of the former. Yeah. Which is why I'm telling you about this part of the dream because I'm not mm -hmm. going to let him do that even if I'm pretty sure it comes at a risk. Shoot, I wish there was a way we could figure out for sure of whether we had something inside or not. A safe word. <clears throat> the problem, of that course, too. The problem, of course, exactly with the safe word is that it comes out of yeah. your brain. Yeah. So, I I don't know what the answer here is. I also know though that, that he's toying with us, and I don't like. Now we need to get we need to get going. We need to get going as soon as possible and get this done. Yeah. Safe word is winter sparkle crystal gale. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Japanese destroyer leaves on a set date. We can't move that forward. But that also creates another predicament. I don't like can we guarantee participation by Min? No. If we're on the destroyer. Well, what if we send them in on different days? I think we want to try and, I think we want to try and coordinate if we can. Because we want it to be a surprise. We don't want it to be like, oh, they came in, they didn't make it, so let's send somebody else in. I Either mean, way, we do have one thing that we can potentially control, and that might be Ho Fang as a factor not as control him, but yeah. as move a piece on the board. Are we going to go and check out that brewery today? I think we should. Mm -hmm. There's my first cup of coffee, pour another. <laughs> uh, okay, so you are gonna go to that address? Uh, during we, the not, day? We, we are not gonna directly go to that address, but we are going to survey that mm -hmm. address. Are we all going or just you all again? I do want to check in with Li, Li Win. I'm like Lin Wen Chang. Um, <laughs> with 
Quinn to see if he's got like how far they're doing just to okay. kind of get a report. Sure. Yeah, he he is super happy when you like call, you know, send a, a messenger to get him. He's he's at your at your side very mm -hmm. quickly. Yes, ma'am. Lee Wynn, how is translation going? How is how is your ability to assist? Are you a good assistant to Mr. Moo? Moo? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, I'm I'm trying everything. I'm doing everything I can to help him. This book is it's ungodly. I believe that oh, was four points in Marvel superheroes. It's I understand. It should it should contain information on how to defeat the evil. And it's imperative that we complete this task of translation before however many days we have left, four or whatever. In five days? Yeah, five days. Let's let's do four, because I understand how like people just blow past deadlines. So let's do four. <laughs> when I tell people four days, it means six in reality to them. So let's tell him four. This will be very hard work, but I, I will... The righteous fervor of the Lord will be my food and my sustenance. Be. And I will drive Mr. Moo and his heathen beliefs to work harder. It should fuel you, my son. That's going to go well. Yes. Yeah. Yep. He's going to fall over. Yes. Yep. He's going to be a disciple. Um, and Lee Wynn, have you discovered, have you and Mr. Moo discovered anything yet? If you could just let me know. Um, it talks a great deal about uh, uh, about rituals and um, ungodly rituals that involve blood and and sacrifice. Much like our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross with his blood and sacrifice. Yes. Yes. Oh, I... I am ready for martyrdom. It's not exactly what I meant, Li Wen, but I was looking more for <laughs> other information from the book besides just specific blood and blood sacrifice. Uh, uh, these are these are rituals of containment. Uh, I don't really know what. I, I, I don't know what's being contained yet. We haven't really got The great evil, Lee Wen. The great evil. We must contain the great evil. Unlike Jesus, who died for our sins to release and open the gates to heaven, this ritual needs to close and contain the evil. Praise be Jesus. Yes. My God, it's beautiful. I My life had no purpose. Nothing. And now... I am a crusader. I grab his hands. I'm like, I hear you. It is our goal. It is our life's mission. It is all that we can sacrifice for. Yes. Yes. I would die for this. Then go, my son. Be strong. Continue on with your mission. I will make sure that that laggard moo works twice as hard. Excellent. And report back anything that you hear. Yes. Yes, the heathens, the heathens must learn. God be with you, son. And I send him out the door. I'm having flashbacks to my childhood. Is Emma evil? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> that was that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Um, you know, the and then I'm just like, I turn around and take a drink out of my flask. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, that was way too much. Uh, you're a little worried that he might be beating Mr. Moo or something. So like, uh... I gotta say, to get me to four days, it's you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> if, if, if Amy could beat people in real life to get her deadlines, yeah, to come in on time and under budget, this uh, shit needs to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So yeah. Hashtag uh, project that, manager, hashtag producer. Don't make me spit my water, Amy. <laughs> uh, I think that hashtag thing is almost like Warren's stickers. That's uh, <laughs> uh, We need, like, I would put one of those on my laptop. Just have that instead of the little, like, you know, Dell uh -huh. circle. 
will have like just Warren. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> Uh, all right, so all right, so Apollyon gave me 500 bits for basically being a little too aggressive. He said for being awesome. I don't know about awesome, but awesome at something. Uh, Thank you. Apollyon. Awesome can Thank mean you. different things. There's awesome is not inherently a positive. <laughs> True. We are in awe of what you're gonna make that poor man do. Yes. Fucking awe. That's totally up to him. I'm just saying I planted the seed and let him go. That's totally up to him. You, you put that seed into his head with a sledgehammer and then watered it with a fire hose. <laughs> totally Emma's MO. <laughs> uh, do you not understand how absolution works? <laughs> no, I don't. I wasn't raised Catholic. Uh, so you, uh, you're going to head off to this address, uh, to this brewery, and uh, what's your plan? So are all of us going to go and check are you out? Going the... in during the day? Are you going? Well, after breakfast, yeah. <laughs> we're not going. We're, we're going to try to be discreet and just. Uh, are we just trying to survey again, or do any of us want to go in and try to get booze? We'll start with surveillance, and then we'll go from there. Well, also, if if you guys want somebody to go in and get booze, I'm sure we could <laughs> do something about that. I could try to do that. That I can do. The surveillance part, not so much, but the I'm, going and getting booze would be okay. Or I could stay here and read this book. This is not a good part of town that we're going into. You want to you want to sit around and read Shakespeare? Be my guest. <laughs> There might be something else in the book. That's all I'm thinking. Hold it upside down. Shake it a few times. <laughs> Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> I am not kid gloving this. Yeah, I try not to 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 show my anger. Like that sounds exactly like what some dude would have said to me. <laughs> it's like, uh, sadly, there is nothing else. It is, there is nothing else coming out of the book. It is uh, a it is a complete works of Shakespeare. But it's a lovely, I mean, it's it's really a nice, you yes. know, very old and antique set. So yeah, I'll, I'll wrap it up. Wrap it up in some some nice uh, towels to keep it uh, good. And that weird as a taut center of the universe cross stitch that I've got. Do it. <laughs> Just wrap it up in the tapestry of Azathoth. <laughs> That's gift wrapping right there. <laughs> um. So yeah, what's the what's the uh, what's the plan that will no doubt tragically go awry? I yeah, mean, what is that plan? I don't know why we bother making plans. They always blow up in our faces. Let's well, have something. Let's observe from a distance, get a lay of the land, and if it turns out it's empty or whatever, we can we can go in. Sure. Or not. It, so it, you watch it for. Um, are you trying not to be followed? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In general. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need three levels of stealth success. So a hard success will be two. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can roll, but I'm gonna need three levels of success. So that's why. Uh, that is a hard success. success from me. That's three. So that's a hard success. So hey, cool. Nice. Five. Yeah, no problem at all. You guys, uh, you are the knight. Um, so you're gonna. How long do you want to watch this place? Um. As long as we have to. Yeah. yeah. It might be all day if we. What, so, what what is your definition of have to? Are you waiting until something happens? Are you just watching, expecting you know, a uh, uh, villain's lair sign to come on? I am totally in favor of waiting for the villain's lair sign. <laughs> it's got to show up eventually if Cobra Commander has anything to say about it. I mean, it's wait until dinner, right? Sure. It, it depends on if it's active or if it's just if it's closed. You know, so you watch until you get there around, let's say, 11, and you watch until 2, and this place seems abandoned. Hmm. That's Nothing is going on there. Should no, we wait until the sun goes no down? No one has gone in. Hmm. Are there any wait? lights on inside? Uh, it's during the day, no. Uh, Should we wait until sun goes down? Listen, it's, it's been three hours and no one is here. Why don't we look inside before anyone else arrives? I, 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 famous last words, sure. <laughs> I'm staying out here. <laughs> I am and against Meanwhile, explosives. I'm in my bed sheet with your guns and my sword. 
<laughs> just I am nice. honestly amazed that we managed to stealth here. Yeah. I'm I'm assembling one of my rifles if we're going in. Yes. Okay. We and we can take the time that we need for that. Yeah. So I pull out my bed sheet. <laughs> Scandalous, Miss Navarro. Scandalous. Uh, Can I put together one of my rifles for you? I have all the rifles. I have brought all the things. I am like your pack mule of artillery. But you can't use it unless it's assembled. So do you want me to put it together? Yeah, here, just take it. Just here. Just what what else do you want out of the bag? He wants to know if you you want a gun while you're sitting out here. Six for this shot. I have an elephant rifle. I'm not bringing the elephant rifle in. Do you want to keep the elephant rifle? I now want an entire Quest and Chaos show that's just Amy going shields and Yarnell. <laughs> Who? I don't get it entirely. It, they were mimes. They were seven. Ah. <laughs> I'm pulling out the elephant rifle and not yeah. putting it back. No, I've got my own pistol here. This is all your stuff. I just brought your stuff for you. Yeah, you're 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 pretty good with a pistol. Not how are you with a rifle? Should I'm I better with the Shots reference instead. Ah, yes, there you go. I'm better with a sword. Lynn, do you want to give us cover then? You're better with a sword drunk. <laughs> we can <laughs> we can accomplish that second part. Yeah, You're not it's not better that hard. with a pistol drunk though, right? Nah, nah, I don't know. <laughs> let's not No, find let's not find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she shoots the throw of the three, she shoots the one in the middle. Then... Just start a fire. Just <laughs> Keep it simple. I brought matches as well. It's fine. Good. Oh man, I'm just have to start taking uh, knife lessons or something from you, Alexandra, so I can. <laughs> I mean, having having sharp, pointy things is not is never a bad idea. Maybe if we survive to the next boat trip, I'll start teaching you. I the iron, the iron is the thing, though, right? Mm. On that. No, no, I've got some extra shotguns if you'd like to. Uh, use one of those. My gods. <laughs> Are we having this conversation like in front of the <laughs> where? Just like, no, 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 before we're heading out. This is why I'm, ass- I'm assembling a rifle while we're doing this. Oh, okay, so this is before we leave the hotel. Oh, I thought we were hiding in the bushes, like yes, this, this yes. firearms. That's what I thought too. This is Me where too. we were doing surveillance. What do you think we are, G.I. Joe? Yep, so uh, you go down heavily armed to the warehouse and um, are you just gonna like look in windows? What is your open door? What is your... Let's look, let's look for an in um, a hidden an entrance that's not in the front or around the back that no one's going to see. So there is only one door into this warehouse, and it is at the front. Are there any windows? There are windows in the so the very front of it. There are two windows. Then, as you go back, the windows are skylights on the roof. How tall is this warehouse? Uh, it's three stories. Oof, no, I'm not climbing, uh, unless there's like a fire escape. The, uh, no, there's, uh, the building code in Shanghai in 1920 was uh, not terribly progressive. Yeah, my climb isn't, my climb, my climb is, is, is above like the minimum, but I'm also not going to climb three stories, thank you. We need to get on that roof. That roof would be an excellent uh, assassination point. You'd be able to use the skylights to shoot someone as they enter the building. Sure, right. if you can get up there with, with a rifle without dying. Does, All right. the, does the door look, does the, the frame of the door look uh, out of place at all? Like they installed, because we were back at that fortune teller and he had the stuff written and Donald don't was telling me. That. No, no. It looks like a um, a reinforced door, but it looks like it's it's conventionally reinforced. Hmm. Well, They're not trying to keep us demons out. Okay, good. If 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 we're going in, Donald, I think you're better with the lock picks than I am. If it's locked, I, I can take care of the lock. But I am thinking, let's make sure not to disturb the building. I don't want to break anything. If it turns out this building's empty, uh, this may be a location he's going to visit later this evening. Hmm. Excellent opportunity for us to ambush him here. If if we can find places to hide, absolutely. Like that roof would be would be wonderful if we could use that roof through the skylights and shoot them from above. If we're standing in front of the door, then let's apparently look, let's look yeah, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna try the door. Is it locked? It is locked. Fantastic. Donna, would you do the honors? Uh, lock pick time. All right. All right. I will stand oh. conspicuously in the way. 
which are is there a- bushes or anything for me to hide? Like, is there another place for me to be instead of in front of the door? Because I don't know if I'm not really. Okay, and do can I do a spot hidden to see if anybody is actually like going? What are five white people doing there? Um, so it's a yes, there are people. There are people who are walking by, like, huh? Well, yeah, I was what, wondering why we're having this conversation. And then they and then they see the rifle and they become very uninterested. Quickly. <laughs> and they, That's what the trench coat's they're... for. Yeah, you know, an elephant gun under a trench coat is no, no. Coat. I left the elephant gun. I'm all right, right. That in close but, combat. Uh, there are there are people in trench coats, like standing outside a door. They'll be like, "Huh, that's nope." <laughs> <laughs> they look like trouble every mm-hmm. inch. Yeah, nope. All right, hard success on locksmith. This is an easy lock. Yeah, the door slides open, no problem, and you can all head in. The front room of this warehouse is uh, a bunch of crates of beer. There is. Uh, no, uh, Emma. <laughs> there is a, a sliding door that is closed that's about a third of the way back of the warehouse. So mm. this part of it is three stories of open, and there are just crates of beer everywhere. Are there skylights ab- above us? Uh, not yet. Not until okay. after okay. the large Good. door. All right. Okay. Look out. <laughs> So uh, I imagine we like, you know, fan out a little bit to look, to, to, to look through yeah. and then reconvene yeah. with the sliding doors. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. periodically I will look in a crate or so, whatever is convenient to just verify that it's beer consistently, like it spot check. Beer. Yeah, everything you okay. see is beer. Beer as, as opposed to another crate that we saw in another warehouse that you right. saw in another yeah. warehouse. Do we, do we hear any activity now that we're inside? No. I don't like the tone that he said that in. Mm-hmm. All right. It's great. How far back does the warehouse go? Uh, it is so this this is about a third of the total area. Then you get to the sliding door, and then mm-hmm. there's two thirds more of the warehouse. Okay. Do we want to listen at the door and see if there's anything behind there? Yeah, yes. Yeah. You hear nothing. Is there any way to look through the door, like a small hole or a lock I can look through to see what's on the other side? Nope, this door is not locked, but it is large and heavy because it is it is a three story do- uh, uh, a three story tall sliding door. Wow, this is the only door. Oh boy! Is there anything that looks like it could go down? Anything that looks? It doesn't seem that way. No, you don't see any stairs or anything like that. Okay. All right, um, I'll move this door up just a fraction of an inch, as slow as I possibly can. Take a look inside once I do. Okay. Um, there is a grinding noise uh, as you heard about. That, that that is really deafening in the quiet and the the. Um, but you don't hear anything, and before you is a completely dark warehouse with sun coming through one skylight, shining down on some sort of glass box and in that glass box you would swear is a person oh so the glass box is um it, it's like one of those magicians cabinets or something uh you see it is it is segmented so there's like glass box glass box it's like three maybe three different boxes maybe four uh and there is someone lying uh still in the box Oh no. Male or female, clothed or unclothed? Uh, it's impossible to tell until you get closer. Okay. Oh no. I, I'm not, I'm going to keep watching the doorway, guys. Uh, I yeah. will say uh unclothed. There is who No, okay. you know what? Unclothed, it's possible to tell it's a male. Okay. And you're pretty sure it's a Chinese male. All right. But it's not uh, a vampire if the light's shining on it. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a being, or it's being tortured as a vampire. Mm. Uh, as you, if you oh, are you uh, sorry? What? Let me know what you're gonna do next. Do we want to pry it further open? See what the hell this is. We have to. We've come this far, right? Famous last words. So I'm gonna keep the pistol and keep back closer to the door. Sure. Yeah, I have. I, I have a dagger in my hand, ready to go if I need it. I'm okay. getting ready to get open. under fire. Yeah. 
so we can we can move. All right, it. so you pull it open enough for somebody to get in. There's that horrible grinding noise again. Um, the 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 body in the glass case does not react uh, at all, um, and uh, and um, when you enter into the room, there is a really bad smell in here. It's like it's like um, body odor and blood and uh, uh, just old gross stuff. E. And there's nothing else in the room. Nope. Thorn, Thorn Castle, we should um, we should flank each to one side. All right. I'll go right. Okay. I'd say I call left. All right. <laughs> All right, and I will get closer and see what I can say. All right. So Joan and Emma are not in the room. Is that correct? I am not. I'm watching. All right. Uh, Joan and Emma, make me a power roll. Oh, is that is that inspiration? Yeah, or do you want to instead yeah, of let's inspire, inspire that? Let's inspire for one more. I'll I'll totally accept an inspiration roll there. Okay, it could be an awesome Amy, or even better, an Emma. Oh, oh this would be the best Emma. No, it's not. I don't want to have to shoot Joan. Here. Oh, oh no, this is beautiful. I got a zero four. Boom. All right, everything's fine. So you two are not in the room. No. Um. Uh. Uh. Who is gonna? Who's sort of closest to the box? Who's going to? I have a horrible. Right, so Alexandra, in the box, you see. Uh, <laughs> that was quite <laughs> right. Because <laughs> type. Um, you see, uh, Wee Lin, naked, terrified, and suspended on on the bottom of the box. He is suspended on like small points. Ooh. And on the top of the box, there are razor blades all the way down his body. So if he moves, he gets cut. And he's just sitting there like this. So who's we, Lynn? I... Your buddy, your- Persistent. Oh, you mean Michael. Lee, oh yeah, okay. Oh, Lee Wynn, sorry, Lee Wynn. Okay, yeah. Oh boy. I'm gonna call back softly. Emma, it's it's what? uh it's Lee Wen. Well, get him out of the box. What is he doing in the box? Then, if this I'm is, I'm assuming Lee I can't see all the things, right? This is because I'm kind of like. Then, who did you send to help huh? move? Emma, you should what? come speak to him. If this is Wee Lin, then yeah. who did you send to help move? Because I happen to remember a little bit about some of uh, the stuff Rogers told me where you yeah. guys aren't so great at identifying when people are actually who you think they are. <laughs> That's a bit rude. If he, it was a perfect copy. We wouldn't, he wouldn't have known either, the Pratt. I'm just saying, is this a case of that? Because if so, that ritual that you need to put those stones together has been compromised, right? Yeah. So yeah, let's get him out. Emma, Emma, you should speak to this fellow. No, no, he's gonna he's gonna freak out if he sees her. Hold uh, on. Guy. Breathe. And um does it look like I can get the lid of the of the casket off without yes. without stabbing him? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take a little while because you have to take sort of each one off one at a time. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, but you will after about twenty harrowing minutes, mm -hmm. you will um, you will remove him and uh, yeah, and I'm and I'm like talking quietly to him the whole time, just like I'm here. We're going to get this sorted I, out. Thank yes, God, I wore my bed sheet and I take it off. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, all right, you read. Uh, um, he he. Um, when you start to come towards him, Emma, he recoils. That's you, going. That's going around today. You did this to me. I, I did. Trust it. I. You. Lee Wynn, I've been outside the entire time. What are you talking you, about? You. You are the one who gave me to this horrible to the horrible man who put me in here, and and they 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 made another me. Wait, oh. what, Lee Wynn? And I put the bedsheet on him, and I'm like, what do you yeah, mean? I gave him to the man. 
Are you talking about Mr. Moo did this to you? Uh, who's Mr. Moo? Lee, Lee, Lee Wen, do you, you, you remember how there was another copy of you made? There, that, that was another copy of Emma that did that. Not, not this one. I guess that, well, that we have to go to Mr. Mu right now. Yes, and right now. Copy Lee Win. There's, there, there's a copy of you with, with, with a gentleman making a translation, and that's a problem. Yeah. Does anybody have any clothes? I'll, I'll, I'll take off my, my suit jacket and hand it to him. Closest I got, mate. You might need to make a skirt Wait, out pants. of the yeah. You might need to make a skirt out of the bed sheet. Does anyone want to stay here and look around? Um, we need to search the situation in more detail. Yeah, what is in the in this room? Is there anything else in this room? Uh, no, no. And okay. so Lee Wynn will tell you that uh, that yeah, you, um, he got uh, 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 after the the car ride where he mm -hmm. thought you guys were super great. He got a call from Emma. Uh, he got a t sorry. Emma showed up at his house and said, "Come with me. I have an important mission for you." And mm -hmm. he gave her to a horrible white man who um, put him in this box and took his blood. And you notice that in the glasses. Of, yeah, yeah. Did uh, he say what his name was? No. You all look alike okay. to me. I don't know. What yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, at the bottom of the box is a, like a little spigot where all the blood that sort of came out of him was coalescing. Oh, we he, have to... he took my blood and he made a copy of me. <sighs> and then they left me here. And the last thing that, uh, that when they left me here, the last thing was you, Emma, telling me that I was going to die in this room. Lee Wynn, you're not going to die in this room. I'm I'm leaving if anyone else wants yeah. to. No. We have a problem that needs to be addressed. Some people can stay, stay. I'm not trying to rush anyone out, but time seems to be of the essence right now. Very much so. And I'm and and, and I'm going to like put 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 a, a hand under Lee Wynn's elbow and like guide him out and be like we need to get out. We need to go now. Um and I'll pass him off to Joan, but I I yeah. I want I want to like poke Donald and say, if they're using people's blood to do this, they have mine. Someone, some, one of these people has my blood. If I were a good GM, you would have been the one to get him, but it just works so much better with Emma. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, Emma's just like, if that Emma Prime bitch is back, she's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> so be aware. If I if I suddenly go nuts, it's probably not actually me. Again, <laughs> secret word, people. Secret word. We need a secret word. Uh, that would have been that would have been the coffee this morning that I would have suspected that. So that was after a really bad dream. Alexandra, give us a, give us a password. Uh, coffee. All right, let's and go. We don't and we don't let we Lee Win hear this secret word either. Yeah, no, we'll he keep wants him. As little to do with you guys as possible. No, I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be hanging out with him right now and and and. All right, um, I, I he asked you to like call him a cab or like take him home. We have well, to get a cab I'll first. Just just give me the secret word just in case someone right. else. Is yeah. I'll 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 go up I'll, I'll go up on my toes and whisper a a word into Donald's ear. All right. right. I'll I'll send that to you privately. Right. As I can. Perfect. Uh. So yeah, you will. Um. Well. Uh. Either some of you can stay back and help. Uh. Lee Win kind of get home, or you can kind of tell him. Uh, get yourself a cab, and we're gonna go help Moo. It's your choice. Party. It's new time. So we're just, and I mean, it's totally cool. Uh, uh, there are good reasons to do both. Um, it sounds like you're all going to see Woo Moo. Yes. Yeah. When I when I'm not being uh, by myself. 
Yeah, I was gonna say when <laughs> Lee Wynn gets in the cab, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna avenge you, buddy. <laughs> Leave me alone, you're crazy. Yeah. Religion is not a tool for evil. Is that the next episode title? <laughs> <laughs> My quotes cannot be used. As... Why not? Oh. That, that one should be because I dis yeah. I cannot disagree more. <laughs> um, so you all jump in a car and uh, you- uh, uh, Do we even you... know where Mr. Wu is at the yeah, library? Yeah, you have an address. Sure. Yeah, Joan okay. does. Yeah. So you get there. Um, and it is a, uh, a, 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 a sort of a ramshackle three room place. Mm. Uh, and you knock on the door and there is no answer. Pick this lock, Donald. I saw you do it before. Kick in. Oh, Get no, in there. Kicking it in. Flint just, yeah, so Donald like starts to roll out his thing yeah. and Flint just kicks the door open. It's surprisingly easy to kick in a door. You just have to hit the, you, you just have to hit the right spot in the latch. Uh, so you kick the door open and uh, the room is covered in blood. The oh. whole room is covered in blood. There's furniture knocked over everywhere. Shit. And uh, uh, you, you will, you know, you go through that, that first room, you get to the second room and you see uh, uh, someone that you can only assume is Mr. Moo. Um, and he is, uh, he is pinned, like drawn and quartered, uh, uh, connected to the uh, uh, tied up, but uh, not with rope. There's like sewing needles stuck through his arms and his <sighs> legs that have him pinned up there. And Chinese letters have been written, carved all through his chest. And he's just like moaning near death. And behind him is a sick caricature of Lee Wynn with a bloody knife cackling. Take a shot. I'm gonna. Yeah. You yeah you can so I'm not even gonna make you roll. You can just you can just you you had your gun ready so um actually I am gonna make you roll because if you fumble bad things will happen so. That's a regular success. Yeah. So you blow, you like, you fire at Lee Wynn, and when you hit him, uh, he like falls backwards over like a table. Um, and um, you hear a, uh, um, you hear a disturbingly wet noise behind as he falls over, like a boosh. I'll go look. I'll double check. So wait, uh, how, how, a, drawn, how drawn and quartered is Moo? Did I hear he, that right? He's yeah. drawn, but he's not quartered, because quartered would be ripped in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I, I, I yeah. was not sure. There's nothing pulling him. He's just being suspended this way. OK. Um, um, as you come close to him, yeah. uh, the red in the Chinese letters gleams. I take a step back. Does it stop gleaming? Uh, yes. Is it the same characters that we saw for the bloated lading? It does not. Uh, no, this is this is. There's a lot more of these characters. Oof. So to get to uh, uh, the 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 weird wet we we land, you you're gonna need to get close to uh, the mutilated moo. That was fun to say. <laughs> we land the mutilated moo. <laughs> uh. I'm well, at a loss as to how to apply first aid in this situation. <laughs> well, better yet, does anybody speak Chinese or read no. Chinese? I don't no. know what his chest says. Mr. M the, your two translators are currently in various levels of dead. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we have time, we can try to copy the, the symbols, but this guy's in a lot of pain. Are the scrolls anywhere around or did they get a... Did we stop them from getting see away? Nothing that looks like a scroll. Shoot. Because that's what I was going to say. I was going to take a look mm -hmm. for. Um, and there's no way to contact Brady directly. Not I can't directly. just pick up the phone. Only through uh, uh, a chew. Uh, uh, I'm going to start scribbling symbols because that's what I do. All right. All right. I'm, so I'm going to. I'm everybody gonna... make me a sanity roll. Yep. At this, uh, at CSI Shanghai here. 
Hold on. Let me let me look at these numbers to no, make sure that they're pencil. okay. Yeah, no. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well for Alexander. Do we, wait a minute. Oh, look are you much, serious? Look at how much inspiration we have. Can we all try again? <gasps> Who needs one? Oh no, I can't try again. Why not? Is it a fumble? Because I got a critical fumble. Oh. I could try again, but okay, yeah. so yeah, no. for drone. Let's, who let's, else needs one? Let's run to three. Does that All mean? Right. August needs one. I need one. Suggestions. There we go. Forty-four success. Forty-five, and I have made it. All right. If you made it, oh, was it an Amy or an Emma, Joan? Um, uh, I rolled more, but I didn't flinch. I didn't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Flinch. I like uh, that. Uh, so. I um, Flint would try and do, but I'm curious what. Oh, oh you'll. So try. if you made it, you lose two sanity. Okay. If you missed it, you lose five sanity. Oh. And dang. you need to make an intelligence roll. Thank God. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Whew. God. Flint smart. Did you <laughs> intelligence roll? He. Yes, a regular success. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no problem with that. All right, so um, here's the problem. You both are too smart to not think about the horror that is going on here, that is in front of you. Uh, and so um, you each have a choice, fight, flight, or freeze. Is there any way? Fight, flight, or freeze? Freeze. I'm trying to. I'm in the middle. Well, there's nothing to fight. It's it's the so. And there's a puddle of we Lin. I don't think that that's a threat. Okay. But the the thing, the reason why I would be fixating on it and not like trying to like piece it together is I want to try and figure out how to get to Moo and do first aid. Oh wait a minute, hold on, Joan, you got a you fumbled, Flynn. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Here's so you don't have fight, flight, or freeze. Um, I'm gonna make you an offer. You can decide that uh, everything you this just all. Gosh, I'm trying to think of what Flint likes to save people. So yeah. you can decide that you have to get Moo out of here, or <laughs> you can decide that you have to kill, uh, you have to destroy whatever that Wee Lin thing is. I, I actually don't think that Wee Lin is alive. That hasn't, like, I'm, I'm so new to the supernatural. My okay. entire fixation is if I don't, even though the runes are lighting up on him, if I don't get to him, he doesn't have a chance at all, so. There we go. So you are, you, your compulsion is to remove move from this place. And to hopefully get him to a hospital. Yep. All right. There we go. So, um, so yeah. And and Joan just freezes. This is just this is so out of your you know this is like a ritual murder site. And actually, the reason that Joan freezes is that Wee Lin's voice, very kind of thinly and warbly, uh, behind from where he fell, just starts saying salvation salvation oh salvation <laughs> uh i'm gonna go around the screens to see what you're doing so flint you are grabbing moo and getting out of there yep. okay uh joan you are freezing donald what are you doing I'm looking to see if there's any other 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 anything else in this room. Okay. Floor. All right, you're going to look around. Alexandra, what are you doing? I'm going to go make sure that that puddle thing is dead, and if not, help it along its way. All right, and Emma, what are you doing? I'm going to help Flint get moved down. Okay. All right. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, so Donald, looking around, there are um, a number of like uh, scholarly, you know, uh, uh, looking books. 
Uh, nothing that looks super arcane to your not very tested eye, but uh, just a bunch of books. Uh, there is um, a um, there's the bloody knife that he was using, uh, and there is um, yeah, that's. And that's what that's what just on a cursory look around, that's what you find. And you have the you have the sense you haven't gotten too close to Moo yet. You're no. you know, you're like looking at everything from sort of far away. Uh all right. Um Flint, you and Emma go to are you just you you're just gonna cut him down. You just like run up and you're just gonna slice the what looks like fishing wire that is holding him up. And I'm going to be yelling, easy, 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 as I try to like. Okay. I am not keep him from just. To that. All right. So. Yeah, because obviously it would pull, based on what he's cutting. Right. Right. To support so, the other side, so it doesn't pull. So both of you are very quickly covered in blood. Happily, it's not your own blood, but yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a win. But that's that's <laughs> poor solace. Um, you are both uh uh. Uh, especially Emma, because you're like catching the guy, uh, mm -hmm. and the, and and just these 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 runes are bleeding openly, um, and you would swear that they're glowing red, these 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 runes. Maybe it's just the blood mm -hmm. catching the light or something like that. But Flint, you and Flint are 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 dragging him out, uh, and um, while and Flint is like yelling for like a taxi or trying to get a a, a cab. And um, and Moo reaches up your hand, reaches a hand up, and and grabs uh, Emma your shoulder, uh -huh. and looks at you, and just says, "Oh, Fang," and then dies. Okay. Uh, Alexandra, you come around uh, the table. And uh, you see Whelan's face inside this green puddle. And, um, and uh, uh, his, what, he's just like, oh, salvation for I am the way and the light. The Lord has shown the way. Emma, Emma has taught me. I have driven the unbelievers and the heathens. Tell me, do you believe? No. And and like try 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 to stab the face in the middle of all that. All right, yeah. You stab down, and he just kind of goes splash. Gross. And he starts to reform. Mm. All right. Uh, and as he's reforming, his voice starts to get a weird like timber to it. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Yeah, leave it to the, yeah, leave it to the Lord. It's not yours. Do we recognize the voice? Is it Wheelan or is it somebody else who sounds like a headdress? It's Wheelan. Okay. Um, you have created a crazy religious uh, blood copy of uh, a crazy religious killing blood copy that uh, Ho Fang has uh, somehow driven this. And so he says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And then he, uh, and then he says, ah, but all things come to those who wait and he dissolves. And that's where we're going to end it for this week. Son of a, damn. Uh, good stuff. We don't know. I, I don't normally get to do a lot of the blood stuff. That made <laughs> uh, <laughs> we Wow. Have, Boy, that's a, that's a sentence to end that and on. Dead <laughs> with, yes. Uh, we have a lot of good quotes this time. Uh, I liked, uh, let's see. Have you noticed we get followed a lot? <laughs> You're the rebound. <laughs> uh, that skill's called boobs. We need to check if that'll get us monetized, because that one I, I, I quite like. I love that uh, one. Yes. The purposeful kind of accidentally. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we do want to kill a cult leader. There's nothing on that island to burn. Do we punch a hole in the sky early? Does anyone here know how to use gorillas discreetly? <laughs> uh, 
If my head ever got detached, I would want him there. Maybe you shouldn't carry a finger around in your pocket. Yes. I think the episode title, All the Dumb Ideas Are My Own. <laughs> I feel like we've had something similar to that before. Yeah. And uh, another possible, if I suddenly go nuts, it's probably not me. Yes. <laughs> I think that's good. Although, I think that skill's called boobs. Is really the... <laughs> if, we can, if we can get that and not deep, get that would be awesome. I am all about that one. Uh, speaking of getting demonetized, if you are not yet, go and subscribe on YouTube. You can see all of our shows on there. You can see us play board games. You can go back and watch Natural One from the start so that you're ready when it starts back up at whatever point, when the stars align. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch, uh, uh, we have a bunch of one shots on there that we played. Yeah. Uh, we have a ton of content on YouTube. So if you're not yet a subscriber, do us a favor, click that subscribe button uh, uh, and start watching our stuff. It's, it's good. Uh, I actually went back. There are comments on our like early episodes. Like people mm. are, are still watching our early episodes. And so right. I had to go back and look for it. So oh, cool. uh, we love our YouTube community. We're on Discord. Join the, the Quests and Chaos Discord. Uh, you can find out all sorts. Of, that's where you can get the first scoop on what's coming when. Uh, if you're not a, our newsletter, sign up for our newsletter. That's uh, another way to get the first scoop. I have to go write the newsletter for next episode right now. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of running on a Saturday. Um, and most of all, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We really appreciate it. And for all the bits and Jay Matthews, the subscriptions and Lonely Yeti, the, the, the gift of the, the Cthulhu starter sets. Uh, congratulations, Crystal Sparkle Winter Gale. Uh, <laughs> I think I say that differently every time. Uh, 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 you, guys, uh, you guys took it home. So remember, Monday, special Carbon 2185 mitten. It's going to be based around the Breakfast Club. Amy's the troubled loner. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have special guests, Jared and Diane from the DAT network, the DAT uh -huh. network. Uh, Tuesday, it's the Chaos Agents. And uh, Amy dropped a major spoiler for the Tuesday Chaos Agents uh, uh, in this, uh, uh, in our little pre-show thing. Uh -huh. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. I think, uh, I think it's going to be fun. And then we're back here on Saturday uh, uh, doing what we do worst. So, uh, <laughs> getting eaten by blood creatures, apparently. <laughs> by blood creatures, that's right. Uh, uh, so thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, Bye. thank you. Bye, internet friends. Bye.